Uh, where's my music at? Nice. Bum, dum, dum. Please tell me I turned the stream delay off. That'd be so funny if I forgot to turn the stream delay off. Looks like it's off. Fantastic. Okay, let's do this, guys. Brand new day in the day of the warlock. I got a couple of quests I need to complete. I want to get my second, what is it, GC, Goblin Merchant quest done today. Which is, I think I have to kill players for that quest. This looks like it's, uh, Cyclops map. Oh, give me it. Hi, Kermi. Nice to see you. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah, good. Can't complain. Oh, for sure someone would spawn here. Not right here. Not. Some torture mastery gaming for sure. Oh, <laughs> right. What is this bad boy doing? Is he gonna come back? I think he's stuck. I was running some normals to finish off some quests and somehow made like 4k gold. Nice, dude. It's always a good feeling. Pay attention to who was in this lobby. Nightmare. I wonder if the nightmare versions are like guaranteed more better loot or anything. Part of me is thinking of dropping power sacrifice for life drain in this build. Oh god. Please die. Yeah, thank you. That's some crazy damage I just took.
Just, uh, I think burst healing would be really good for me. Holy shit, bro. I literally just went live. Are you going to talk about my view account on YouTube, my non-main streaming platform? <laughs> it's not that deep, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh god. I'd say my luck this uh I didn't mean to hurt you. Dude, I literally explained the reason and now you're like trying to like not listen. I don't understand you. <laughs> oh man. Hilarious. do with this shit how dare i not have 10k viewers in the five minutes of stream yeah you're right my bad that's on me really Lovely. Those are very nice. Very, very nice. How you doing, uh, Tucky? How you doing, Epsi? You good? Nice to see Havix Frosted. How you doing, man? What rank you playing at right now? Uh, looks like a Wanderer. I think it's Wanderer. I don't think I've played much GC on this character. Sorry, it's not even Wanderer. It's uh, Neophyte. What's the new build, Take Torture Mastery? Yeah? Nice. Curious about what magic item I should be fo focusing on, as in like the casting. Definitely a spellbook. Spellbook is just the strongest for Torture Mastery because it's the fastest, and Torture Mastery is kind of like all about how fast you can move. So definitely a uh, spellbook. It's true or add magic damage, which is better. True is better. Add magic damage you can get more of, and it's typically cheaper. But you want true because. Uh, a lot of there's a lot of resistances in the game like a barbarian for example easily can get to the uh the resistance cap if they want to and they they do obviously want to so I think this Shadow Hood might sell for a bit more than this. Okay. Oh yeah, no, the Daoshi character was made for the book, for the challenge, to be fair though. It wasn't like, uh, I've had that character in the past, I made that character for the challenge. It was like a joke that I had 
last season that it would be funny to have a Chinese username character. That looks like a warlock. Can I loot him through the door? Hell yeah. Did you just spam Curse of Pain? Yep. Curse of Pain does a lot of damage every top prick, uh, every proc of it. Not every prick. So, by spamming Curse of Pain, you do. Well, my build right now is 33 damage per Curse of Pain. So, that's how you get your, most of your damage out. Recently, I've been trying to build at least 300 movement speed with defense knowledge. Nice. Hmm. Okay. Wisdom ring, rare. Not really any good secondary roles. Maybe one additional memory capacity could be worth something. So like a cleric. Maybe I'll list it for about a hundred. I think it should sell for a hundred easy. This here on the other hand is a very good choker at all on a phoenix choker. Three, five, nine, the minimum has magic resistance on it. So maybe it's worth a little bit more. I feel like there's some people who respect the magic resistance. I'm definitely one of them. When I see magic resistance on a pendant, three magic power, I think 600 is the most I can sell this for. But it might take a while. Two fist power and a forest hood. I don't think these sell for much, actually. Yeah, 100. And then we have a, a two true magic damage. Shadow Hood. One forty. Okay. Armor rating. Okay. Maybe I can go like one 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 fifty. You can reapply the burst damage of cop with each consecutive hit after you hit the curse. Yep. Noob question. Are you ever supposed to use power sacrifice in PvP or just as a damage tool? It uh, just as a damage tool. I would never really do it. You can, but it's not really worth the miscast. I honestly sometimes think I would be better off removing uh power of sacrifice and taking life drain as a s spell instead. I think I would get more value out of it consecutive uh, consistently. If I was to do that, I would need to switch my build up completely like this. I think I would get more value out of this than I would out of power sacrifice most of the time. I still hate how RNG based rock fall is. I don't know why they don't make it so you can see the rocks will land with a little shadows or something. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? If the devs thought about that kind of stuff. But yeah, clearly they don't care too much about it for some reason. Wah, 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 wah. I 
I just noticed a bug, I think, earlier where I can see a Rogan stealth moving around. That's not a bug. That's that's the new change to uh, to uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the new change to the uh, the the stealth. It's like a Halo stealth. Did they even change anything about Rock Paul? Yes, they did. They made it do less damage per hit. So it's still RNG based, unfortunately, but the rocks themselves do less damage. Wow, well, these sell for a lot, don't they? 5,500 for the cheapest one. Oh no, 399 for a cheaper one. Oh, but you can go three magic healer. Uh, true, three true, can't you? And that's only two true. What about a bear pendant? Right now in my build, I feel like I don't have enough health. So. I'd like to change that. 5,500 cheapest. <laughs> nope. 4,899 cheapest. Or 4,000 if you want to go additional instead of true. I think it's better to go true though. Two thousand five hundred. If you want to go to budget, okay, it's good to know. I think making a boss, uh, a boss no hitable is super important, especially in solos. Not hitable is in like you can avoid all damage on the boss. Is that what you mean? Oh, I need magical healing. I just remembered. I can't just go pure damage unless I find magical healing on a different piece. Unlucky. Uh, yo, Frosted. Let's not use homophobic language in chat. That's not cool. My muscle memory is going to be absolutely destroyed because I changed to life drain. I have a decent torture mastery book. Right now, what I want from a torture mastery book is... It to be purple, epic. It to, uh... Have max magical healing. And I want it to have close to max magical power. Otherwise, I'm not really interested. How you doing, Nick? Feeling like you've recovered? She has not a bad chapelle. I might have to change my uh, muscle memory on that one. It's not working for me. My voice hasn't, but I mentally have. Glad to hear it, dude.
It's five magic power, three magical healing. Yeah, okay. I could probably make use of it then. That would actually probably increase my damage. I have very little magic power, so I suspect just a small magic power increase would uh, make a pretty big difference. Nice jumping. Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. This guy's naked. Okay. You never know, man. You never know. cooking up. So one thing I've really been struggling with, I've noticed on my curse lock recently, is the fact that, uh, Because my dex is high, because of all ats, I'm actually like missing a lot of curses because my action speed's higher. It's such a weird problem to have. and safe there. No reason to not to. Bro, I saw the fucking, uh, Cyclops weapon there, the club, go flying and thought it was a fucking rogue running at me. I freaked out. How lame.
Is the Occultist Hood worth the magical healing? Sure, but I think the Shadow Mask is worth the movement speed. Like, the Shadow Mask is giving me plus three movement speed, whereas an Occultist Hood is robbing me of, like, minus five movement speed. So, the difference for me whilst holding a book is being 317 versus 322. And maybe that difference isn't like an, a, a huge difference maker in the grand scheme of things. But I think it, you know, is worth, worth it. Now that we have all the plus ores on other pieces of gear, I don't think the, uh, the need for the Shadow Mask is anywhere near as much anymore. I understand why they got rid of the plus ores on the Shadow Mask. Probably get rid of this bear pendant. It's not going to sell for anything. Yeah, I'd love to upgrade this pendant, but this pendant's the hardest thing to upgrade. Since I'm uh, relying on the magical healing from it. The only way to upgrade this pendant would be to upgrade my coldest robe to a plus all magic healing run. And that's just going to cost me so much money. I think we'll take the Wanderer's Attire. And then... I need to drop this to get one slot does. Is there, any, is there no other green one slot does? I guess I take the uh, Castilian dagger. It's blue. Oh, that last circle is not good for me. I just realized, and I need to fucking make a move. Oh fuck, I might die. That's really not good for me. No ladder problems. No ladder problems. Yeah, this is really fucking bad. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I had no ladder problems, because I got stuck there for a little bit and I realized that that was bad. It doesn't have plus all on it, so it's not going to be worth a huge amount of money. But the armor rating is good, and the PDR is good. So it's not bad. It's not like it's completely useless. Let's have a look at PDR. Physical damage reduction. 350. And armor rating 500. Yeah, okay. Mine's probably going to be just under this then. So let's list it for like 450 or something. Still pretty good price.
How much is that worth, Haikumi, on the market? doing 32 on my curses at the moment so we'll switch this out and see if it changes the damage at all i'm sick i have a feeling it might actually reduce the damage but that's fine if it does we can just figure it out i think i'm gonna switch this around and just get used to this order here Blue books are generally more uh, affordable. Yeah, that's true. Do, do, do. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Yeah, I think finding the pendant I want is going to be basically impossible. It's this, but I want the set last like stat to be magical uh, healing, essentially. Uh, sorry, not uh, plus all stats. I just think that like finding that is going to be like literally impossible. These are pretty uh, non-expensive, though, for what they are. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's exactly the same. That's what I thought it would be. I'll probably just go back to the other book then. Because it's giving me regular interaction speed. It's good to know though that like a five magic power book is uh is the same as a, a purple with no magic power on it. That's not a bad thing to know. Phantomize. That was a real bad phantomize for me. Oh well. He should be on the Hydra here. Little tech for you.
Looks good as a helm. Like, really good. Max health, physical damage reduction. But I don't know if fighters wear these. Or clerics. Like, the physical damage reduction, the max health. Really good stat lines. Yeah. Interesting. That should probably sell for some good money. I think the stats are good for it. Gear doesn't affect the matchup in high roller, does it? Like, if you have good gear, you make good... No, no. It's not uh, normal lobbies are the only thing where gear matters, really. Like that. What movement speed do I normally shoot for? Uh, 310 in stashes minimum. That will sell because it's uh, magical healing. You can buy purple crusader helm with 10 armor rating for 150. Oh. Thank you for letting me know, Toko. So it's not that good then. That's a shame, man. Hey, big gal. I'm good. How are you? New uh, username? What happened? New account, sir. I think I already have a uh, Royal Ruby. No, first time in here? Oh, okay. There's uh, someone else who sometimes comes by here called Big Al as well. So I just uh, assumed, I guess, that you were the same. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. Okay. I tell you what I've genuinely been enjoying as a spell, guys, and I'm going to make a video on it this week. I genuinely believe in the power of Curse of Weakness. I think Curse of Weakness is a genuinely good spell. Now, I wouldn't run it on many Warlock builds, specifically. But... That's not to say it's useless. I think it's really good on Crease Dagger Lock, specifically. Because you can uh, then all-in Barbarians and stuff with it. All-in Fighters with it. Yeah, don't need anything better than a white heater, really. The justification for the heater is actually just so I can push people. When I run Kree Stagger Lock, I literally just run a heater by itself. Because I think that having a heater shield allows you to...
push certain classes in ways that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. It's a rogue. Of course, he takes the portal. Wish people would snipe people with a spellbook. <laughs> Imagine BOC with spellbook. Yo, Dowsy, power of sacrifice is useless for PB because of 15 vigor increase, right? Yeah. It gives them strength, gives them vigor, makes them hurt more. Unless you can kite them the entire time, you're basically risking taking more damage. And, uh, like, the, the, the health increase gets uh, subsidized, so, you know, the damage you deal to them eventually is going to come back and it's going to hurt them again. Like, it's not like you're going to do negative damage to them. But... It lasts on them for like what 10 seconds a lot of fights are over in 10 seconds and you've just given them extra life extra health for 10 seconds you know so I have to be careful about that okay let's have a look epic armor rating 120 okay what's this this one's max health and pdr so max health let's have a look at health Health is 100, and let's have a look at 4 for 750, actually. Uh, but that hasn't sold, and that hasn't sold, and that hasn't sold, and that, okay. And what about uh, PDR? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at what the... Hmm, 199... Yeah, to me, it just doesn't seem like these are going to sell necessarily. This one's basically the same as mine. PDR is a little bit better. The health is a lot worse. I think mine's basically the same as this one, and it's listed at 350. I just want mine to sell, so I'm going to list it at 300. I think it will. A lot of people see similar items listed and go, wow, what a bargain. And then they, they buy it. So that's my uh, theory, at least. Yeah, the Crusader's helmet, I would have thought, was a little bit more expensive. It's good stats. But apparently not. Wow, a 2 IG 3 magical healing one for 500. So we'll have to sell ours for a little bit less. Let's go 450. Yeah, 450 should work. It should have a fairly quick turnaround that uh, it sells. I would think. Okay. Do I want a spare mask? Not really. I don't really like holding on to too much extra gear if I can help it. I'm playing some duos today. So like, I got up and we hopped in the Discord and Kazrin was there. I was like, oh cool, maybe we play some games with Kazrin. And then... I realized he had a tired sound to his voice. I was like, oh, he has not slept, has he? And yesterday I played with him off stream and he was tired yesterday. And apparently the dude was tired yesterday. I played with him in the afternoon. Yesterday. We had some great games and duos. Then he played some trios with his trio team. And then... Um, then he streamed for 11 hours... And then jumped into a Discord call with me as if he was going to play duos with me. <laughs> and I was like, you're not going to play duos, are you? And he's like, no, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm like, okay. So That was, uh, I thought I was literally going to start the stream with some duos, but no, it didn't work out. So I'm doing some, 
solos, I suppose. I don't really like playing expensive kits in solos, though, because it's just so easy to get killed. And there's no gear recovery in solos. When you play with someone good in... In duos or trios, like... Maybe you die, you make a mistake, but they they can recover everything, you know what I mean? Like, because you're playing with someone good, so... You've done enough work, and they've and then they can finish the job, you know? Oh god. Oh god. Bro, the spider blocked me. Not even close, bro. Way too late for that one, friend. This guy had a pretty good kit. I swear I sold that yesterday, genuinely. I think I genuinely sold that yesterday. He has so much health, dude. His kits genuinely is just like a shit ton of health. That will sell for a couple hundred. That will sell for a couple hundred. I'm pretty sure I sold this yesterday, like for 400. I don't really care about getting uh, AP, by the way, guys. So I'd rather not get AP if I can help it. <laughs> that would be the win. It's a really good shield, but I'm not going to bother with it because I don't know, really know how much they sell for. I don't really barbarians run them, although barbarian is up right now. Big stonks barbarian. Bro, why is there no royal coffin? This is such an outrage. Those are really nice, but I'm not sure they sell for much. Might as well take them. Is there still matchmaking for Pathfinder above? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, maybe I should just... Can anyone do a, 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 a market lookup for me for round shields rare with armor rating and health on them? I feel like that's a pretty good find, but I, it might not sell for much regardless. 300 for the colder spirits? Yeah, okay. It's pretty good slot value then. Wow. 
Uh, it's rare. Eighteen armor reading and max health bonus, like a one point seven max health bonus. I can't really do boss this round. Too risky. One fifty, thanks guys. Appreciate you. Those are pretty good. They'll sell for a little bit. Do you need add magic damage or true magic damage or just will to do some good damage? Uh add and true are way more efficient than will. Like true damage is potentially like four times as efficient as will because it doesn't get mitigated by resistances and add magic damage is probably like three times more efficient than will but uh it's not bad to have both i know exactly where this guy is Young wizard? Or is that a warlock? Oh, dude, I just walked right through a fucking hellfire. What a hilarious joke I am. That's a warlock, okay. He really thought I was going to close the gap on him, I guess. It's not really the play style of this build, though. Um, okay. GG. This guy was very undergeared compared to me. The trap is here somewhere. I'm not seeing it, though. Maybe he... Stopped placing it? It's not there. Did he stop? He must have stopped placing it. There's going to be a portal right here. I th did I pass a portal on my way out? Yeah, I did actually. I, uh, in the center of the map, there's one, isn't there? Elevators. Yeah, based on how I've watched Dalcy in next streams, there's a lot of mechanical skills to be learnt. Um, man, I've missed some uh, some chat. Let me try and catch up real quick. Okay. Did you see the guy who got the first ever Neuralink? Is a gamer. He's quadriplegic. First thing he did when he got home with the brain chip was play eight hours straight of Civ 6. Legit playing computer games with his mind. 
That's fucking crazy. I did see that they showcased um, him playing chess as like a, a proof of concept. Hey, it acts like flat damage or no? Sorry, what's that? Frosted? I don't know the context of the question. How see how do I beat you as a wizard? I fought you twice a few days ago and it seemed pretty grim. Oh hey, uh D8. Uh GG's, I guess. Um, were you kitted or did you feel like I had a massive gear advantage, right? First and foremost, I guess I'll ask that question. Um And was it what build was I running? Was I running the 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 curse build that I'm running now, or was I running like the crease dagger uh crystal ball build? Because uh, those are like some questions that I can help you a little bit. Help me with like answering the question. Without sounding like a dick. No, no, no. I, I can I can provide better better uh, better advice than chat. Chat's chat's being a little bit too minimizing of the issue. <laughs> I had 11 add and roughly 120 health, 310 move speed. I was pretty decent kiss hit kitted. You were a curse lock, I believe. Okay. So, um, one thing that's really important when playing against curse locks specifically, right? Because a curse lock is getting um, a lot of their power, right? From their ability to heal with torture mastery, right? Um, so... I don't know what your build is, but I can tell you first and foremost and immediately that if you are running the perk Fire Mastery, you're going to massively reduce my chances of winning the fight. And what you want to do is you want to hit me with a splash on a fireball and then follow up with as much zap damage as possible. The reason you go for the fireball first is because it's the most likely way that you can land the splash damage for Fire Mastery onto, onto me. However, if you feel more comfortable with your zaps, go with a zap. But the, the whole point, right? is that if you can hit either fireball or zap onto me, then you're going to be reducing the effectiveness of my curse healing by 50%. Massive. And then from there, you're just trying to do as much burst damage as possible. So you can burst me using fireball. You can burst me using zap. Um, I probably wouldn't go ice bolt because it's much easier for me to dodge it. And then uh, a uh, lightning strike can, can be good as well. If you have staff mastery and ignite, then going in for a, a, a Staff Mastery Ignite with Haste and Viz is an okay play. Things to keep in mind with that is if I've cursed you with uh, Curse of Pain, then you're going to come out of your invisibility immediately. Um, so basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to land your, uh, your Fire Mastery onto me as quickly as possible into the fight. And from there, you're trying to continuously apply it so that my healing is reduced. And you're trying to get me to a point where I'm really under pressure so that I can, um, so that you're essentially DPSing me to the point where I feel like I'm at risk to use my curses. And that's, that's how you're going to beat a curse, curse lock. Now, the thing you have to understand about the warlock wizard matchup is that warlocks are running the perk anti-magic, which is giving us 25% magic damage reduction flat on top of whatever magic damage reduction we have. And currently my build has 21.7 magic damage reduction. So I'm almost hitting 50% magic damage reduction. So I'm going to be tanky against your uh, your damage. You know, I have 128 health at almost 50% magic damage reduction. Unless you're running true magic damage rings, I'm effectively 250 health against your, your damage, right? So you have to do a lot of damage to beat me. But if you can stop my, uh, my healing and cut down my healing, then you're going to have a much better job at it. So that's uh, that, that, that would be my tips for, for beating a curse lock. Based on how I've watched Darcy and Nick's streams, there's a lot of mechanical skills to be learned, for sure. This game is, uh, it's a lot of knowledge though. Like, like League of Legends and stuff, like knowledge is power. I tried to lure a few mobs down to troll pit and get them to aggro you to Oh, okay, now I know who exactly who you are, D8. Yeah, I remember that. Um in fact 
Oh, what day was this? Was this, uh, this is the day before the tournament, I think. Wait, D8, was I playing on my Daoxi character, or was I playing on Daoxi, the uh, Chinese-looking name? This one here. Daoxi. Do you remember? Because I think I, I, I remember the fight with you. I'm just going to try and find it. Maybe we can uh, look at back and see if there was anything you could have done better. Woman, you have aesthetic. Yeah. Very mystic club. No, I should... I was fighting a Cyclops and you pulled a shit ton of mobs down to me. I remember that exactly. And uh, I think you tried to use them as a chain lot rod. And I thought this guy has won so many fights using this strategy that he's never had it counted before. I think I literally said that. It's five knowledge. Dude, wrong. Get an idea. So yeah, I remember the fight. I've, I remember the fight exactly, but I don't remember what day it was. I have a feeling it was uh, the day that the Torture Mastery changes came through. Oh, oh. They merely molded by it. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a lame streamer sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I would have said anything like that when I was in tournament mode. I got everybody on me, dude. It was during the fight as well. The, like, I had the Cyclops on me, and then it was just a shit ton of mobs, and then you went in Viz. Changed that, honestly. Yeah, I remember that exactly. But I'm not sure I'll be able to find it. This is good, a little battling. Help. On the off. 16 true while healing for roughly 10 to 60. Barrett. There it is. There was a, uh... Hmm. I think it's this stream here, but like I said, like trying to find a specific fight in a stream is so hard. Hey, actually viable, really good. <laughs> actually viable, really good. Duos and much harder to pull off in trios. All right, this might be it here, actually. I think this is it. Yeah, because I, I then took it really slow because I had the Skelly Champion on me. Here you are. Wait, this is a curse lock. This is not... It... Is this you? Playing Wiz Warlock? No, this is someone else, I think. Um, yeah. I had someone else do like a very similar thing.
Uh, I don't remember it. I, I can't find it. Sorry, I, I wanted to find it and see if I could help you out there, but... You pulled a centipede down from elevator room. There's no troll. Uh, it's an elevator in centipede. In uh, troll. There's no elevator room in uh, troll map. It's uh, Cyclops. Anyway, appreciate you guys. I appreciate you uh, coming in and asking the question. Hopefully the advice will help you. And uh, I guess more the mechanical advice on how uh, fire mastery works um, is really important to know in that matchup. So, yeah, good luck with it. Paddlings with max health. Okie dokie. I feel like paddlings are pretty cheap, typically. Does my crease need to have magical power to be... Who's a warlock crease? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Crease dagger builds are really simple. You just uh, abuse the fact that warlock has so many good items that give uh, strength. And uh, you stack some plus ores on those items and you're good to go. So we're talking the occultist pants. We're talking the shadow hood. And you just build a ridiculous amount of physical power via your strength. Build some physical power items as well if you can. And uh, if you really want to like increase your damage more, build some additional physical damage or true physical damage into your build and you're golden basically. I'm looking for one that has health on it because health is very good on padded leggings. Here we go, 3.9. Hasn't sold in 12 hours. Okay, 500 is too much. So we'll go 400. And then we have a plus one or two IG padded tunic. So look for the first one that has IG maybe. It's probably about 300 spell, I think. 300 cost. I think I'd be pretty happy selling this for 300. some things sold for uh on my list currently for too much and they're not gonna sell quickly i typically try to undercut the market guys because i have i have such a i usually have such a good like flow of items to sell that if i just undercut the market and take a little bit less maybe 100 less per item or whatever then i'm gonna make more money over time because i can sell more so What's the sweet spot for magical healing and warlock TM? I like nine magical healing right now. That's my favorite. I should probably bought some more potions over. Bum, bum. If I beat you with your tips, I'll probably give you a kit back. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Thank you. Doesn't I? Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. I answered that question, right? So, three from book, three from pendant, three from chest. Uh, I'm going three from gloves right now. Over the chest, so I can uh, focus on a plus two. Um, a plus two or chest instead. Is Locke still as gear dependent? Uh, certainly can be. This kit I'm running is extremely expensive. It doesn't have to be there. Like for example, the Crease Dagger Warlock build is pretty easy to get off the ground with very little gold and it's very effective. Like, extremely effective.
GG That was some Rainbow Six Siege shit right there. Breach and enter, dude. Do you know how many teams spawn in Ice Cavern? I don't, sorry. Always try and run past the cave troll, guys. I'm going to release some new guides uh, soon on how to level one kill cave troll, I think, on all classes. I think that would be pretty helpful. I want to teach Warlock strategy again, even though my previous build guide is probably fine for it. I just think that with the Cyclops change and the Torture Mastery, like increase again it's just the right time to make some guys like that can you do it as a level one wizard for sure the squire changes means you can bring a staff in now as your level one weapon and then staff mastery you can bonk it to death it won't be the fastest but it's definitely possible ah oh, geez bigger these are probably not worth much i doubt this is worth anything either but it's one slot so Do bosses in Goblin Caves or Inferno give more experience? I actually don't know. I suspect Inferno gives more experience just because that's typically the way it goes, but I couldn't tell you for sure. Gonna look for a bit. We'll be playing seven days with seven friends. Enjoy, dude. Someone asked the question earlier, is this game worth buying now? And I agree. I think it is 100% worth buying. So, and it's uh, coming to Epic Games soon. If you want to buy it on Epic Games, you can go wishlist it. I don't know when it releases on Epic Games, but that's uh, obviously makes it a little bit easier to purchase an update in the future. Trying to convince all your homies to buy it. Good luck. Remember, you've got a uh, a seven day, was it 10 day trial code that you can give someone? Choose your most influential friend in that friend group and give it to them. And if they enjoy it, then everyone else is going to buy it, aren't they? Will it be possible to transfer my account to Epic? I don't know. The devs have said they want to do account transfers, but it's not something that they're going to be able to promise at this point did they resolve the legal issues uh it's still ongoing but the they've won their early injunctions against iron mace uh, against nexon so it's looking good it seems like it's gonna be funny if dark and darker launches on steam might be so many new players for sure nerf this broken class <laughs> uh 
Aha. I always like to do a bit of information finding when I come back up. Make sure I'm aware of where people could be. See frosted. This guy has a lot of magic resist, so he takes a while to die. Okay. There's probably like a really good piece here. Like this here, for example, looks pretty good. I don't know how much it would be worth though. Emboss, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in gamers from Emboss's stream. I hope you had a fantastic time over there. And I hope that you uh, continue to have a fantastic time as we enjoy what is the number one class in Dark and Darker, Warlock. Static's open. I can always spend my static. Oh no. <laughs> I want to loot this motherfucker. to loot, unfortunately. I'm leveling my lock now. Nice, dude. Honestly, though, I never understood, Emboss, why you don't play more, like, Caster Cleric builds. Because Caster Cleric, especially in solos, is so insane, dude. If you're gonna, like, level up your, uh, your Warlock to be a Caster Warlock, why not go... Go full hog and and get yourself that that caster cleric goodness. You do do caster cleric, not like uh, how I see people do, do, do caster cleric. Maybe maybe you do it a little bit, but not not how I see like some of the the people I watch do caster cleric. They do caster cleric like no one else did. 
I'm gonna mix. Yeah, dude. Honestly, getting a multi class, getting a what do you call it? Uh, what's what's the the uh wizard perk called? Um, over. What is it? Over. Overload. That's the one. And that's gonna be nuts on cleric. Very very strong. You toast kits are like 10k, my kits are 300k. Sure, sure. There is a, there, there is definitely uh, that, that element to it. I'm, I, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hate. Will overhealing work with warlock? I assume it will, but like, dude, how am I meant to know? It's not released. <laughs> I can only uh, guess as best as you can. Like, I don't see any reason for it not to, right? Like, based on how it works now, I can't imagine it doesn't, right? But I have zero way of knowing. Uh, bro, I need these shits to sell. I'm out of, I'm gonna, gonna run out of freaking space soon. Of things to, yeah. Price and better? Kazarin. Brother. Aren't you meant to be asleep? I mean, healing pods work with it, so I imagine it works. I'm in bed. Okay. We'll uh, let, let it go then. We'll let it go. Sell harder? Yeah. Honestly, any time I end up with like a, a full 10 slots like this f for like this long, I, I I seriously consider just canceling all listings and pricing everything way lower just to get it out of my, my slots. I don't think any of this stuff is priced overpriced. Selling to vendor is also a solution. It's so much gold down the drain though, isn't it? I liked on your stream all day. I know you've been up way too long. Yeah, literally. Can you believe this dream way? I, I played with Kazarin yesterday in the afternoon. Played for a couple hours. We played, did some duos. It was a lot of fun. Then I go play some rugby. And... Um... And, uh... Kazarin decides to stream, which is cool. And he does a bunch of solos and duos, absolutely demolishing people. And then, I didn't realize he was streaming all night. I wake up, and Kazarin's uh, in the Discord. So I jump in the Discord and say, Hey, you want to play some duos and invite him? And he, he accepts my invite. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, sure. And then, and then I'm like, I could tell that something in his voice was wrong. I was like, Kazarin, please don't tell me. Because when I played with him yesterday, okay? Yesterday in the afternoon, when I played with him yesterday, he was really tired. He was yawning. Oh, I've not been sleeping well, Darcy. You don't understand. Been up all night. Not been sleeping. I try to sleep, but I can't right now. I've got lots of work. All right, man. All right, get some good sleep then. So I get into the call the next day. And I could just tell something in his voice. There was something missing from him. I'm like, Kazran, don't tell me you haven't been to sleep. Do not tell me you haven't been to sleep. Anyways, Dowsy, I streamed for 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't die. And I'm feeling good. And then he crashed. And that was it. <laughs> And then he crashed. He just absolutely crashed. <laughs> oh dear. Get some sleep, Kazarin. Look after yourself. All right. Uh, I might actually pull everything out of the uh, the listings. Let's try again.
Kazarin got to finish his grind before the end of the world or something. Kazarin's playing like there's no tomorrow. Sleep well, end boss. Thanks so much for the raid. All right, we're just going to quickly sell this stuff, guys. I'll try and do it quickly. I won't overcharge or anything. I'll literally just list it for the lowest amount of money possible. And just get it out. Four, four, four. Padded leggings, two all. I'm absolutely giving this stuff away, essentially, compared to the rest of the market. Okay. All right, one or bigger match pen. And then the other one is like magic something else. 600. Oh, that one was the... Oh, they're both match pen. Interesting. All right, max health, max health. Move speed. It's pretty good. Three fifty. Okay. Can I show stats before starting game? Sure. Darcy's ring duping cap for real. Only Kazran elects to stream 11 hours after a proclaiming tiredness. Yeah, dude. I know what he was thinking. That looks like a pretty scary cleric. <sighs> pretty scary. I feel like all clerics are scary. Anyone else agree? How many true add magic damage do I have? I have max true magic damage. So three 
on the pendant, two on the head, two on the cloak, and four across the rings. Does true work for Flamewalker? Yep, it works for on any of your spells. I really thought the Hydra was going to block me. He must be dead because I'm not healing anymore. Okay. I don't think anything of this stuff is worth taking, is it? Maybe the magical healing ring? I'm not sure. Move speed bigger boots are not bad, I suppose, either, but I don't know how much they're worth. I don't know how you do it. I can't see a damn thing for that. I can't see a damn thing either. I just trust my uh, muscle memory. What's the strike of the Hydra? Uh, extra DPS. Yeah, it also like takes his uh, aggro certain, uh, for certain attacks, which can help. Pretty good Bardish, but very, very, like, big. The best healing seems to be working, to be honest. Yeah, I like it. 
He had five rare rugged boots he had? Yeah, five movement speed rare ruggeds. Nothing crazy good. Probably sells for a little bit though. Did you see Hygra had shout for nice? Yep. We've got a mimic in here. I think the mimic gets stuck still. Really? You're gonna do that to me? A bit harsh. Where's my green here? Maybe we can just hide what from a uh, <laughs> cast of clerics. That's why I bring these. I literally bring these just for clerics, genuinely. It helps. Takes a little sting out of their uh, their burst. <laughs> By a little, I mean very much a little. <laughs> it's not a, mo a big change. It's enough to survive, though. Faithfulness was a mistake. Am I right, chat? Anyone else agree that faithfulness was a mistake? <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what I may so cooking with that one. They went they literally went, hmm. So cast a cleric. Not many people play it. But when they do play it, they seem to dominate. You know what we should do? <laughs> what we should do? We should add 15%. Extra damage to that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh dear. PDR and armor rating? Dude, this is actually a really good cloak. It's a shame that the rolls are a little low, but it's not bad at all. I'm glad I actually looked at that for what it was. Someone's in West Module. Circle's closing South Module. It's probably the Caster Cleric. Actually, let's go up. That way we were uh, putting ourselves in the best possible position against a Caster Cleric. I hate when I don't rogue check this room. Warlock, okay. With uh, Soul Collectors and Melee. Valk holding across the room. I'm expecting the clerics to still be alive. I don't mean, this is GG yet. That is a lot of additional damage. Might well, this is another warlock kit, isn't it? Okay. I guess I just take that.
GG. Give me kid back. <laughs> Dude, I feel like if you want the kid back, you gotta ask nicely. What the fuck? What do you think, chat? What should we do? Vendor? No, I'm not I'm not I'm not petty, okay. Whoa. Okay. Silly game. Uh, I'll be out of your... Come trade. I'll give him some, some of the items back. I'll just do a, a single trade. Clearly he was a nice dude. And it was just probably a little bit of a language barrier. As soon as he's like, honestly, well played, etc. I was like, okay, yeah, this guy's... This guy's not really like... He means no harm. He's a nice guy and he's been a bit cheeky. That's fine. That's not what I meant to put there. Okay. Move speed and max health on the Vigor Ring. I'm interested to see what that sells for. So let's have a look at the move speed bonus. Move speed bonus is at the lowest. 0.7-ish, about 200 gold. 
And then what about max health bonus? 199. So I reckon I could sell this ring for easily 300 if I wanted to. However, I'm not going to sell it for that much. I'll sell it for 230 and try and get uh, out of my uh, listings as quickly as possible. A true fizz damage dexterity ring should sell for a little bit fairly quickly. Come on, you can you can press the right thing. There you go. Congratulations, 240. Okay. Secondary status magic resists, so it actually makes it more valuable. But I don't think people are going to see it that way. 240, it'll sell quick enough. I look like a nerdier General Sam 50 pounds lighter. General Sam. Bro doesn't look that that chunky. Oh, he's got a bit of a beer gut to him, I suppose, but just a classic uh <laughs> brown haired glasses <laughs> con and creator <laughs> look alike, I guess. Da -da. Okay. Leather Smith requires... Oh, I can craft stuff now. That's cool. I'll probably save my uh, my pelts, my, my looted ones at least. How valuable is luck on the market? Like a two war attributes luck on a rare? It depends on what, what, what the, the piece is. It can definitely up the price for sure. One day someone will say you look like Alan Carr. Commands aren't showing for me on the mobile app. Oh, that is strange. What are you trying to learn? Chase Hill? What do you prioritize for caster lock? Are you going... Oh, okay. So for torture mastery, I uh, always will run phantomize. Torture mastery is always phantomize, right? Uh, perks wise, I go anti-magic, torture mastery, vampirism, and dark reflection. Sometimes I switch dark reflection out for curse mastery. The reasons I will do this is if I want longer healing from my curses. Or if I want um, to play with another Warlock who's likely to use curses, then I need to make sure that my curses are considered different to theirs so that I can keep my healing. So it's the two reasons I run Curse Mastery is longer healing or uh, playing with another Warlock. Spells wise, I'm trying a new spell set out. I'm running Curse of Pain, Flamewalker and Hellfire. So my main damage sources are Curse of Pain and Flamewalker. Hellfire is usually more utility based and to kill bosses. And then I'm actually using Life Drain and Hydra to uh, burst heal instead of bringing Power of Sacrifice. And then as far as the build is concerned, I have Magical Healing on my Pendant and three true magic damage. I have Magical Healing on my Spellbook and I have Magical Healing on my Gloves. I then have plus one all on my Rings, two true, plus one all on my Rings, two true. My Chest Police is plus two and my Loose Trousers are plus two with five movement speed. And I have five movement speed on my Lightfoots as well. And then I'm trying to slap knowledge onto items where I can. I got some health on my occultist robe. I'm running a bear pendant for health as well. My shadow mask has two true. It's purple, so it has three agility. And the other stats I haven't really cared about. This one's just a bit tanky. So that's the uh, the build. Buy or find those rings. I bought them. Everything in this build is bought, pretty much. <clears throat> This build is very glass cannony. Something you need to keep in mind with this build is that my PDR and my MDR, uh, well, my MDR is not too bad as long as I'm fighting wizards <laughs> or I'm fighting like a BOC warlock, right? Then my MDR is really good because I have the 21.7% plus the 25% from anti-magic, right? So I'm actually very tanky to wizards and very tanky to uh, melee locks. But against cursed locks, uh, anti-magic doesn't work against curses and against uh, clerics. Anti-magic doesn't work against divine magic. 
So I, I am way squishier. And then my physical damage reduction is actually quite low. It's only 19%. So. If I wanted it to be a bit more tankier, I could slap on a leather cap. That would help. Was unfortunate for him yeah he definitely put himself in a bad spot there and doesn't have anything really unfortunately for him okay Fuck, dude. Oh, no, I'm in so much trouble. Oh, thank God. If I get caught out now in... Uh, in Rock 4, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Let's pop a potion in advance and get the Hydra down so that we can heal off it if necessary. This is a very messy Cyclops. Why does standing still life draining with Hydra seem viable, uber viable and safe? Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, Hydra life drain is now higher than um, the rockfall damage. You can uh, get past the burst with it. What do the numbers for the curses represent? Uh, the health cost for casting. It's doubled because I am using Torture Mastery. Torture Mastery doubles the cost of all spell usage. So if I want to cast a Curse of Pain, it costs me 6 health. If I want to cast a Hydra, it costs me 20 health. Still think that needs changing to 1.5. I think it just get rid of it completely. If I'm going to be real with you. 
I don't think we're in a, a meta anymore where we need to have that high of a penalty anymore. How many Curse of Pains can you stack on the same target? Uh, two. One with Curse Mastery and one without Curse Mastery. However, you can continuously cast Curse of Pain onto someone to burst them. And that's how you do your damage as a Curse Lock, is you curse, 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 until they're dead. And each time you curse them, on this build I'm doing 32 damage. Some of that true. And so if someone has like 120 health, then it takes me four curses to kill them. Typically three. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how long happens between the curses, but every, like, second, they're taking for two damage during that process, so it could be less. It's a decent cast dagger. Yeah, it's max damage, but... It doesn't have any weapon damage on it, so it won't sell for huge amounts. It's not bad, though. Oh, my first Royal Emerald. I want that, actually. Okay. When you uh, accidentally list your... Oh, you got insta sniped as well? Oh, uh, dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's such a pain in the ass. What a shame, dude. 3k cloak sold for far, far too little. Did I just punch the floor by mistake? I fucking freaked myself out then. Oh god, I'm so in trouble right now. What the fuck am I doing? So, drink one of these bad boys. I don't think he wants to find me. Let's play it safe there. What could that cleric ever do? I mean, he was under geared, so not much. Yeah. That was a pretty big gear check onto him. But uh, the wall model probably wasn't the right strategy, first and foremost. Well, that is unlucky, but he should be no. He should know that it's closed. If he's in that position, I can't imagine he. Uh, he didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably been near that gate for a while now and never heard it open. Hmm. 
have to kill centipedes, mages, and giant spiders. Oh, I should do that. <laughs> That's a free gold bag. That will save up a lot of inventory space. <sighs> uh, okay, so what is it? Spiders, mages, and centipedes. Five mages, two centipedes, two spiders. Okay. I'm still looking for these items. I never loot the skeletons when I kill them. I should just start looting them. Spider is the bugger. Why is the spider the bugger? Do people like rush straight to the spider spawns? What stat gives blue skeleton skin? There is no blue skeleton skin crystal. If you're talking about the skin I'm using right now, it's a nightmare skeleton skin. It's black in color and it gives 10 armor rating minus magic resistance. Realistically, I'm actually going to switch off it. Actually, how much PDR do I have? If I switch off it, my PDR is going <laughs> to go down by like 2%. <laughs> Oh, just 1%? Okay. I don't need to. Oh, I'll keep it on. It's, it's drippy. Did I buy myself over lock pot? I don't think I did. Unlucky, did. I'm actually trolling. Do you think boss should be so easy to take as base kit warlock? Yeah, I think it's fine. I didn't see any issues with it. Yo, Ticker, you want to do some duos? I am um, promised to another. I apologize. Unlucky. Are you doing three duos already? When they get off? Yeah, yeah. I'm playing yeah. with Ember and Polypore. Uh, um, I'll keep that in mind. If I'm awake at this time tomorrow, I'll drop you a line. Sounds good, dude. I bet. See you. Okay. Where are these guys off to? Do you think boss should be... Oh yeah, like literally... A lot of classes can take bosses as a base kit. I don't think, like, Warlock is unique in that front. What's unique about Warlock is that you do so using spells, right? And so a lot of people see that as safer, I suppose. It's not necessarily safer. There's a player over there.
Okay. Whoops. Let's go kill, uh... I kind of want to kill all the mobs down here. I'm pretty sure I go into, uh, Pathfinder after this game anyway, so... I don't know where the bard's gone. There he is. I need to go upstairs. Have aimed up. That was a bit silly. Ah, oh, dude, this hasn't been cleared. Yo, that's so cool. Congratulations on uh, your dream job. Mithrask. That's uh, really cool. Bro, this bar just ran. I can't do boss because he ran. Uh, he held me underground for so long. Must have taken a portal. I can't imagine he's in this game anymore. Yeah. 
Got to loot the centipedes. Oh, thanks. That's really big of you to remind me of that. At least I can get some stuff out of the game. It won't be a complete waste of time. I just took the portal as expected. So he was in here this whole time. to come to me. sure I come out of this game with something, I suppose. Bro, this is such a bad time to sell things. It's like the worst time of day to sell stuff on the market. That's why none of my shit's selling. It's just the dead dead hour of the marketplace where everything just goes to sleep. The market goes to sleep. These are that great. That one's pretty tanky, actually. It's not bad. That's rubbish. Sell that to the armorer. All right, let's have a look at some courage rings. Epic. The first one I think is just going to be min epic, so that's 250. Has action speed on it, but I don't think that's really enough to drive the price. And then we have one that has one additional physical damage on it and some armor rating so it's not too bad but additional physical damage can go up to three i think 600 is pretty good price for it
I really need a chest, man. I haven't managed to find one yet in the, uh... In the pile. It costs too much for me to buy at the moment. are all things that need selling. Alright, we'll vendor that. We'll vendor these two things, I think. The frost paint purple. Let's see if it's worth anything. One sixty. One sixty is alright. Pistolian dagger with no base stats. Just magic pen and stuff. 130. I'll just sell it for min. 130 is fine. I need it. I need it gone. That one's wait with a little bit more. 130 should sell pretty quickly because it's uh it was a 28, yeah. And now I have a 27 with add. So we're looking at 200. Play some duos over red if he's on. Be fun. He might not be on though. I need to get some water either way. So let me go take a that before it's too late and I forget. Yeah, we. Send him a DM, see what's going on. Bob, uh, always looking at chat, reading other people's conversations. I'm such a rude streamer. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, I just hit um, class mastery. That's cool. I'm now a master warlock. <laughs> Oh, 
a wizard, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, dude! For some reason, I got signed out of YouTube chat. I wonder if my uh... I don't think there's been a message in YouTube chat for a little while. But let's do it. Okay, that's fine. Hey, spider room. Let's go. There's always a player east, except for when there's not, right? And then there isn't a player east. That's what I find. There's a very high likelihood, though. Oh, there's a player. Yeah. <laughs> nice sprint. Is there a spider down here? I don't think there is. Yep, people don't understand that prop pots are just not like 30 additional health. They think prop pots are... Oh yeah, they think prop pots give health, essentially. Or like damage reduction. They don't understand that it's physical and magical. Splits. This is the only spider on Goblin Caves right now? Oh, okay, so everyone wants this one spider. Gotcha. No player spawned east this game. Unless they went straight. Oh, sorry, east. I thought you said west. Jump the goblin, thank god. Where's the bard? Not the greatest of jumps. Is bard doing cyclops right now?
bring that. What's on that other cap? Nothing. It's her quest. Five? Yeah, So base kit wizard. Good choice. He's dead now. Let's watch the movie. I'm pretty sure this bard's looting pile at the moment. Nope. He died. Where did he die though? Here. This is him. I thought it was a goblin from afar. So, no boss. Might as well kill the centipedes. I don't know if I've done my centipede quest yet. Plus all on both. That's really good. Really, really good. Alright. Is it that way that it was the portal? I think it was that way for the portal. Is it still there? It is, yeah. Hell yeah. Love me some portals. Okay, couple kills. Actually, the only person I didn't kill was the uh, the bard. So, how do you kill geared barbarians? You play a very drawn out um, kiting game, where you try and dodge the, all their frannies, and you try and. And you kill one more spider and four more mages. Try and uh, dodge all their frannies. You try to avoid all their... Oh, wow. Dude. Oh, okay, that one was not plus all. 
yeah, you try to avoid, avoid their frenies, you just kite them out, you have Flamewalker constantly ticking in the background, and you try and land as many curses on them as possible. When they push or land uh, Achilles on you, you just Venomize and get away from them. Spellcasting speed. Okay. Two wall talk is not going to be that much, unfortunately. Even though it has true magic damage on it. It just is not a very um, desirable piece of jewelry. Three additional movement speed on the frost amulet could potentially sell for a bit. Alright, well, we've hit uh the worst rank in the game. We've hit a uh, Pathfinder, so now we're gonna be matched against uh all the Giga Chads. And our enjoyment of the game is going to plummet from this point onwards. I don't really enjoy solos. Um, I don't really like losing gear in solos. I don't. It doesn't matter how much gear I gain. As soon as I lose gear in solos, it hurts. But when I lose gear in like duos and I lose gear in trios, I don't really mind as much because I'm like chilling with someone and enjoying their company. So I like stomach that loss way better. But in uh, in solos, it just feels very heartbreaking. Obviously, in, in duos and trios, though, you can play with someone and they can gear recover for you, which is nice. It's a nice, you know, little safety net. But for me, it's not even the fact that, like, you have gear recovery that makes up for it. It's the fact that I, I'm playing with someone. And I think when you both experience loss together, it makes it slightly easier to stomach. So that's a three true. Look at this, dude. This is actually a crazy pendant. Three true, one plus all. Nuts. I'm thinking perhaps a two or three true talk might be like a genuine strategy to buy this cheaply. And magic resistance never goes unnoticed. It's always a good thing. I'm trying to find the cheapest. There it is. Oh no, it's plus two. Uh, okay. Dude. <laughs> Where are the expensive ones? Whoever listed this is joking. How much money do they have to spend to list this? This guy spent a thousand gold to list this and he's never going to get that's fucking crazy so 1666 and that's been up for two uh for four days so clearly it's not even the best price for that stat or maybe it is 1000 here hey cello how you doing today Quests are time gated. Well, they're they're not time gated. Time gated would mean that you have a limited time to complete them. They're just uh drip released over time. So 
so that uh, you can't kind of rush all quests quickly. I get to find out how much uh, of a raise I get. Oh, fingers crossed for you. Hope you, uh, hope it's nice. I needed to go to ice caverns, dude, and finish my ice caverns quests. This is back online. <laughs> so all the stuff found in ice caves is easy. You like it? So this guy was running a sleeper build, but he's just uh, not got much gear. Cave troll. Seen there. I thought that was a fight for some reason. I'm actually genuinely impressed that he got a hit off.
Okay, weapon. Everything else is a bit whatever. Someone's downstairs. Really, really slippery. That's hilarious. Pretty good. Shouldn't be in invis anymore. There he is. I just need to get away from him. He has his cut for it back up. Fuck, he's actually really fast. I have 14 seconds until my engage is deemed safe. Dude, this guy has been such a pain. I hate extended fights like this because I, all I want to do is cave troll. Like, that's all I care about. But, oh, what? Who's that? Is that a ranger? There's a ranger. That's huge.
Wow, his resourcefulness is so crazy. Get to a uh, portal now. Yep, high roller goblin caves is just five players. If it doesn't spawn there, I have to run all the way north to the static. I assume it spawns here. I don't think there's any other place it can spawn. Now. Okay, cool. Simples. It's hot. The rogue seems decent. He may have some juice to sell. Yeah, he's got a bunch of plus, uh, plus ores, that's for sure. But, uh, it wasn't like a crazy, crazy set. Like, it's just a very cheap base. A uh, cheap, uh, like, um, very cheap, like, uh, set. It's a cheap set. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a cheap set. I'll keep this for my, uh, my crease dagger lock. I can definitely run this entire set on my crease dagger lock. Maybe not the uh, the Watchmen, so I'll probably run the strength one instead. Holy. I need to finish this quest, don't I? Okay. You've got five leather caps in one raid. Uh, Hakumi, could you do me a favor in a second? Can you just get ready to clip? Am I going to play TCM again? Nope. Don't have any intentions to play TCM again.
Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. You can clip this. That'll be good. Nope. Also, not wanting to play. Uh. Deceiving. Deceiving had an issue of the. Uh. The. Um. Playbase started stream sniping all streamers. And because uh, it was a social deduction game, stream sniping was literally like GG game ending for the streamer. Um, and uh, also, uh, the play base became too small to mitigate it. So it was just GG game over. All right. That's my current Warlock kit. I have a plus two or a Coddus Robe with health, plus two or loose trousers with move speed. My Lightfoot's a plus five move speed with knowledge. I have one or two true ring of quicknesses for both my mystic gloves are giving me three magical healing three knowledge and two agi i have a radiant cloak with two magic damage i have a bear pendant with three magical healing and three two three true magic damage um i have a shadow mask with two true magic damage and some armor rating and magic resistance i'm getting my ninth magical healing by the spell book i then have a crease dagger for pve and then as far as perks are going Torture Mastery, Dark Reflection, Vampirism, and Anti-Magic. And I'm running Life Drain Hydra for Burst Healing, Curse of Pain for Damage and Healing, Flame Walker for Damage, and Hell 5 for Boss. That should be 60 seconds. If you could make an exclamation mark gear command with that information, I'd appreciate it. TCM died so fast, it was your biggest regret purchase. It just, like, it seemed really exciting and fun in the playtest, and then it just became so, like, boring so quickly, so. I don't know, man. This guy's so tanky. He doesn't have much magic resistance, that's the only benefit. And he's, like, positive. But he has good physical power. He has really good action speed. And he has a survival bow. He's gonna hurt, basically. He's like a ranger on crack. Allegro, uh, needs alacrity gets him up to 290, uh, 221 moving, 222 moving speed. And then Allegro gets him even faster. I mean, I know where we're going to find him. We're going to find him on boss, right? But yeah, it's going to be fucking pain in the ass. At least I have Hydra life drain now, so I can burst heal under pressure. I'm not like... That like will make a huge difference, but that fight's going to be a really fucking... It's going to be fucking hard. Mm -mm. I wouldn't look at Steam counts for games that rely on multi-platform deals to get their player base. It doesn't really make much sense to me to look at a Steam player count. You know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is uh, on Windows Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass, sorry. So like... Clearly not relying on Steam as its main playbase demographic. When I heard it's free on Windows and free on Xbox. Also, I think something that a lot of players don't understand is ASIMs. Like Dead by Daylight, etc. Appeal to a really casual gamer place. Meaning that steam which actually is like more hardcore of a player base is not the main demographic for games like that at all it's always going to be the console variant version that's going to be the best
So if games are on like multi-platform and they're super casual gamer, like uh, appeal to super casuals. This is the wizard, I think. Yeah. I think we won this fight already. Yeah, like decisively. I saw that ring. Bard's already killed the cave troll at this point. Would be my assumption. No, he hasn't. That is strange. Maybe he ran into someone and died? die or fall down okay he uh, fell down bro hellfire needs to stop trolling me If the bard has not killed the cave troll yet, I don't know what the bard's plans are this mo like, match. He should have killed the cave troll a long time ago. Personal Weakness is really good in melee lock builds when you're using a Bloodstained Blade. I highly recommend it. Spell Predation and Curse of Weakness in Bloodstained Blade builds are really strong.
There's a portal above me. I'll hear if it gets opened. I've killed two players this game. The bar didn't come to Cave Troll. Makes me think he has no intention of coming here. Could be very wrong about that. Curse of Weakness reduces all stats, as in these stats, strength, vigor, agility, dexterity, will, knowledge, resourcefulness, by 25%. So each one of these numbers gets reduced by 25%. No, the these are base stats, is what Hakumi is saying. He's not right describing himself very well, so we can uh, we can laugh at him for that. But uh, what Hakumi is trying to articulate is that these stats here are your base stats for a character, and then these stats uh, in the advanced details, like everything below, is like the the numbers you get for like other stuff. But these here are like your your main stat lines, and they're the most important stat lines, and that's what cursor. Curse of Weakness reduces. You don't lose significant movement from a weakness. So you lose... You d Yeah, you do. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, what you're saying is correct. Yeah, I'm going to make a video on it this week, I thought. I just uh, always say I'm going to make a video, and then I end up streaming instead, because I'm, like, cool like that. Oh, I just end up not editing because I'm lazy. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying, clearly. Lol. Wait, I didn't kill the fighter. I just, like, scared him, didn't I? I only killed the wizard. That bard must have died. I don't know why he would not come boss. Unless he was scared of me. It's possible he was scared of me, right? That is a possibility. I like these gloves. I don't know how useful they are, but I can see someone wanting them. So, in the uh, in the instance of uh, of my agility, right? I have 33 agility. If I was to uh, curse of weakness someone, it would uh, take them down to 24 agility, meaning they would lose nine movement speed. It's quite a lot. And so, basically, curse of the only reason curse of weakness is actually like good right now as a, 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 a spell is because we are in a, a plus or meta and so people have a lot of raw base stats in any other meta in dark and darker what happens is people build uh build don't build base stats they build move speed right like lots of move speed here they don't build like agility but the plus or meta means that most a lot of players are running around with at least uh plus six agility right that you can reduce so So yeah, it's 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 cuz of the plus or meta that uh it's a a viable a viable uh spell right now. Otherwise it's 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 kind of troll. 
But the thing is, I would never run Curse of Weakness unless I was running a melee lock. Because I don't think you can justify it otherwise. I think it's really hard to justify Curse of Weakness unless you're playing melee lock. Because if you're playing melee lock, you basically have spells to give up. And by melee lock, I specifically mean crystal ball, crease dagger lock. I really need a, a, a gold coin bag or a or a uh, a chest. I mean, I could buy a gold coin bag, sure. Or I could craft one, maybe for a little bit cheaper, but. Gold class, I expect, are selling for like 30k, right? Plus, maybe 40 even. No one's selling one right now. Holy. So yeah, if I'm running a crystal ball lock, guys, actually I'd love to, maybe I should craft a crystal ball lock set. Let's do that real quick. So if I'm uh, playing Crystal Ball Lock, typically what I want is physical damage uh, jewelry. I prefer physical damage jewelry. So two physical damage plus all, and then here's some strength for plus alls. That's pretty good stuff right there. But I could go like a physical damage ring and that would be good as well, right? Then uh, you want a lot of strength if you can get it, right? So typically what I'll do is I'll go um, a coldest pants like this or lats and I'll buy like pretty good plus two a coldest pants, right? So they're really cheap typically because uh, no one uses them. So you can get a plus two wall on greens for 130 gold. But if we go to the epics, we can start looking at how much they cost. They're a little bit more obviously, but still very cheap, 399. So let's see which ones we can get that are really good for us, if any. Magic resist, that's really good. PDR, that's really good. Uh, agility and knowledge, that's pretty good. Vigor, that's pretty good. Two knowledge and spellcasting speed, I don't really care too much about that. Magic resistance and spellcasting speed, that's pretty good. Health and will, really good. Um, dex and magic power is pretty good. Magic resistance and dex, this is pretty, pretty, really good. This is probably the best we're going to find. So let's go with those. Okay, so that's our pants sorted. Uh, chest piece, you can do a lot of different things with a chest piece. But if you want to go budget, I recommend going frock. Frock is really good for budget uh, kits because uh, they're also cheap. So 600 gold for a purple frock, five decks on that. That's gonna up your attack speed massively. So let's see what we can get on one of these bad boys. They do increase obviously, eventually. Let's see what some of these bad boys are, the ones that are only plus one or. Health and spellcasting speed, that's a really good frock. I'll probably go with this one here. Okay. Really good. Uh, we're going to go with a shadow hood as well. 
on the Shadow Hood, we're going to look for... Um, probably look for magic damage just so that we can do a bit more burst. So here we go. One that has projectile damage reduction. Probably not the best. Armor rating's good. Magic damage reduction and armor pen. That's really good for 400. Dexterity and physical bonus. Okay, that's fine. Dexterity and uh, buff duration. That's really good. Max health. That's really good for 1,000 and some fizz power. This is obviously not budget. <laughs> We're looking at kind of expensive stuff right now. Uh, let's have a look at my actual stat lines. I'm at 30 dexterity, so I don't really need too much dexterity. I think health would be ideal, so let's go health on it. Shadow Hood, sorry. Shadow Hood gives strength. That's why we want it. Two health, projectile, spellcasting. That's pretty good for 195. Uh, I'm sure there's one that had true magic damage there. Yeah, one true and resourcefulness. Sure, that's really good. Stat lines right there. Double max health and buff duration. One additional magic damage. Oh yeah, we could have a look at magic damage. Additional magic damage. Just have a quick glance, see if there's any good additional magic damage ones. All magic power, fizz damage reduction. That's really good. Agi, knowledge. That's really good as well. Knowledge Dex, True Magic Damage, Max Health, Fist Power. I think we go for the uh, the one down here. That was like really cheap. We have one True on it. So we're up to 130 Health. All right, we want to get ourselves some Lace Turn Shoes now. Lace Turn Shoes are really good for this build. And we want additional movement speed on them. So let's just have a look and see what we can find. Looking for five additional movement speed on the lace turn shoes. Here we go. 350 with magic damage reduction. Perfect. So moving speeds up, up, up. Uh, spells wise, we're going to change our spell loadout completely. And perks wise, we're going to change our perk loadout completely. We need to get ourselves. Oh, I already have a crease dagger, I think. Don't know. Down here. Yeah. One free stagger ready to go. And you know what we run with this? As a the, the trusty gray hitter shield. And then we need a crystal ball. And on this crystal ball, I think I probably want health. So I'm gonna search for health on my crystal ball and try and get as much health as possible. And see what a purple will cost me. So that's 60 gold. And a plus four purple is 320. Oh, no, it's not purple. Three health would be 300. And that's a lot of extra damage as well. Pretty good. Let's go for that. So that just leaves our gloves. We already have really good strength. We could get more health if we wanted to. Our dexterity could be increased as well. So why don't we look for... Uh, we could go with that if we wanted to. I think that would be perfect, honestly. Just a shit ton of health and true physical damage. Leather gloves would be good as well. Yeah. Because they give uh, dexterity. And will, which can help burst our damage up. Uh, let's look for Agi on these bad boys. Any plus three Agi gamers? 600 with a bit of vigor. Let's have a look at the rares. See if we can get like a plus three Agi. Regular interaction speed is the secondary stat. Armor pen is the secondary stat. Spellcasting speed, buff duration, armor pen, strength. Why not? Fuck that, dude. That's juicy. So our choice is 131 health or 140 health. I think we go for the 131 health. Let's do this. Okay. So perks wise, we need to build uh, melee orientated. So we're going to take anti-magic. We're going to take soul collector. 
We're going to take Dark Reflection. Soul Collector buffs our Dark Reflection damage. That's really big. And then we're going to take Shadow Touch as our fourth perk. Shadow Touch gives us health back on auto attacks. And then uh, for our build, we're going to bring Curse of Pain and we're going to bring Bloodstained Blade. These are our, our core, you know, spells. But then on top of that, we bring Spell Predation and we bring Curse of Weakness. Very, very strong. And then on the off chance we need it, we have Eldritch Shield. So the idea is we can curse a weakness someone, reduce their all stats by 25%. Um, and spell predation, we can actually remove people's uh, blue potions with that. So that's the build. We're not super tanky. We do have some pretty decent magic resistance though. That's good to go. In the old caverinos. So let's have a look at our damage output. Bloodstained Blade. 80 damage. Very big damage. And then I have a look at this, right? Here's a Barbarian. Barbarian's 183 health. Right? A lot of health. Hit him with the Curse of Weakness. Oh, never mind. Walk? Yeah, we have BOC. Oh, you wanted to see it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Okay, let's stuck our BOC, guys. Very, very important. Not our BOC, our Dark Shards. Looks like a Barbarian. God, I'm gonna get mob blocked real hard here. Okay, though this is kinda kinda hilariously bad for me. Let's get rid of the pot. This, but uh, centipede came up. What? Oh, I guess I didn't really pay attention to the bug at all, did I? Alright, that barbarian kind of just got away thanks to mob blocking a bit. I didn't really want to push him because it was just too risky to. Someone drink a luck potion. Nice, that's a huge ring. That's gonna sell for a decent, decent penny. So the crystal ball uh, is really powerful for us guys because it buffs our dark reflection because it's uh, adding two, uh, six magic damage, and it also buffs our uh, blow of corruption as well. All right, there's two players here. Here's the barbarian there. Oh dear. I need to uh, reset the spider low. <laughs> this ranger is very, very, uh, Thirsty for the kill.
It's a cleric. This is a tough one because we know that, uh... This is everybody. Perfect. Alright, nice. We got rid of his uh, sp spells there. We're now full stacks. Where did my cleric friend go? He's trying to steal the loot. Cheeky little bugger. Red. GG. I'm chilling. I think uh, that's everybody now. We kill the ranger got killed by the barbarian. I killed the cleric. That's two. Oh no, there's still another player. Who's the other player? Ranger, barbarian, cleric. Who's the other player, dude? Huh. You ready to play, dude? Yep. Kill. Get this done. This guy stole my shit. That's a really good mask. I do prefer wearing masks sometimes instead of... Uh... They're really good boots. Can clerics hurt themselves with holy light? Yes, so. If you're all in fighting them, trying to get on top of them is a good play. Because you can uh, make them hurt themselves in the process. But they, in theory, will have lots of magic resistance anyway. I'm very... Uh, confused might be the wrong word. I'm unsure of who the last player in this lobby is. This uh, ranger really just tried something, didn't he? Didn't work. Not sure what he was thinking. Running in like that to a barbarian and a warlock. Like, that's just never going to be a fight. Oh, dude, I forgot that I could get a true physical on this. That's all right. These are pretty good gloves regardless. Might as well upgrade our shield. <laughs> okay. There should be a fourth player, right? Survival boat? It's such meta right now. Oh, here they are, I think. They're down here. <laughs> Goodbye, little barbarian. <laughs> Alright, well, GG. I love the melee build, dude. I think it's really fun. It's fun, but so risky. I didn't see it as risky, personally.
Yeah, so, like, you just have to play around the Barbarian spells, uh, skills. If a Barbarian has Savage Roar, it doesn't last that long. You can outrun them. Curse of Weakness and just run away. And then you, you know, go back in. <laughs> Once the roll is over. You have the advantage of the debuff icon. You know? Do you still have the invite, Red? Oh, you're in yeah, the lobby. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Outrun a bomb? Not always. Yeah, maybe not always, but typically you can. If you're playing uh, range as well, you can. All right, let's get rid of some of these cloaks. They take up a lot of space. True. What was the true one on? True magic and true physical. What have I gone for? Physical. Dex. Mercurial. <sighs> magic power 250. What's this one got? Regular interaction speed. All right, we'll just sell it for 250 then. And then it's a Vigilant Cloak with magic damage, true magic damage. Two hundred. Yeah, two hundred is good. A Strength Cloak with health. Seventy-five. I think I just vendor it. A doublet with plus two ore. Do you want this green doublet with plus two ore? Or are you good, Red? Me? Oh. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Fair enough. These sell for pretty cheap, to be fair. Three, two, nine. Sell for 300, get it sold. Uh, max health bonus, move speed bonus, action speed. It's a pretty good cloak. Has a lot on it. Move speed bonus is probably a little bit more alluring. It's what, 1%? Yeah. 10, 450. I think I just get it for 450 and just get it sold. Actually, honestly, I'll just sell it for 400 and get it sold quick. Get out of there. Doki. I think I'm going to need some of that red RNG luck to get myself a chest. How's that sound? No. No? No, my luck is with me still. Shit. After another chest, I can give it away. Okay. See how it is? Bit selfish, but whatever. I said a bit selfish, but whatever. I love running just a single shield, dude. It's genuinely one of my favorite things. How fast you are with it. It's a half kitted wizard. No, he's actually very kitted. Never mind. 121 health and lots of true magic damage. At least I have over 50% magic resistance, so I'm 260 health to him. Have you tried running Soul Collector Ray of Darkness build with the new 16 Majad? I haven't, no. I think Majad is a bit of a bait, I'm not gonna lie. 
because magic resistance is a big meta right now for our tanky classes they're stacking it and so the add magic damage is actually not doing as much as true could obviously if someone's not running any magic resistance then it's crazy damage but this guy yeah. has some crazy build the uh the wizard overload staff mastery arcane mastery yeah my, my, my plan is to spell predate him when he pushes and get rid of his ignite but uh, i'm pretty tanky i will build. i will be able to tank his his damage i have 50 percent magic resistance so i look pretty sleeper in this kit but i'm not <sighs> And this kit's just using jewelry I had lying around. I didn't even buy jewelry for this kit. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, they should change dummies to be less than 12%. Should just be zero. Flat zero. Understanding your uh, drop-offs a bit better. Do, 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 do. Double rogue. Unless one of these is a warlock. I think they're both rogues. Yeah, both rogues. There should be different multiple dummies labeled with different armor percentages. Yeah, it's actually kind of smart. That'd be really neat if there was like a 0% dummy, a 10% dummy. Sorry, probably not 10%, probably like 20% and then like a 50% dummy. 0, 20, 50. But uh, also, I actually think that we should just get rid of the pre-game lobby and add hideout for that kind of stuff. That would be my suggestion I need a uh, bone skulls teeth okay. etc if you find them if you bother looting skeletons I was only kill one Wendigo. You know how like there's the Wookiees from Star Wars and how they're like kind of funny and cute? That's the Cobalts for me in this game. I never watched Star Wars. Okay, well, GG's. Actually, my girlfriend hasn't watched Star Wars either. I think I need to change that. We keep saying we'll do like a little Star Wars like marathon. Good the question is, pardon? Good for her. Oh, she wants to watch it. She just hasn't got around to it. Pyramid. Finish those skulls. Say again? Finish those skulls behind me. Why is that? For your stacks, but I see. You know, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need stats from it. I just need uh, the quest items that they give. Oh, but like for your stacks, ten stacks. That's what I mean. I'm ten stacks, dude. Yeah, now I see. Now we have. <laughs> 
Oh my god. What do I use cop for? You never know when you're gonna need a bit of cop damage. You're not all inning someone. Alright, you wanna go towards pile or do you wanna check the spawns back here? That's not clear. Oh no, he's here. Standing. Coming to you? One dead. I mean one one low. Bro, I'm behind like really far behind you. Treat it as you're as if you're alone. Yeah, don't worry. He's one, he's one, he's one. Just like one top him or something. Yep. Where's the other? I don't know. I hear someone's killing, mo uh, killing mobs, but I don't know where. Maybe underneath. No, probably not underneath. Y'all, Tom. Yeah. Let's go towards Berserker. There's usually people in this module. I need to learn how to do the Berserker. I think it's just dodge. That's a duck. That's a duck? Yeah, that's a duck. And that's a go left duck and that's a duck again. And that's a left duck and duck. Yes. Okay. Well, clearly I'm not doing it very well. Use health train. <laughs> Why learn when wall exists? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's good to learn how to do all mobs. That's a jump, that's a jump, that's another jump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm checking middle pile, power room now. Hmm. Berserk is still there. All cobalts seem to be here. Wendigo is still there. Oh, I'm gonna take big guy. I saw Kazrin doing the uh, the Vendigo really easy. I did. Those archers? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I cleared everything, dude. Why does he hurt so much? Because he's headshotting you. Oh. That makes sense, actually. I think you want your two last attacks hit him with on heart. Yeah, but it's, it's hard. Really thing. It's really hard to get the last <laughs> two attacks like primed just, in just time. The timing, I think. When he's attacking, you attack in the air twice. 
But this is not too hard to move around, you know. They could have made him very way harder. They'll never remove all the cheese. I think they might. I have a feeling they will actually. Eventually. I feel like uh, they give you time to learn and then they remove the cheese. You're on your own. Do backstabs pierce and hit his weak point? I think you can hit his uh, heart through the back, yeah. They will have the same spots in hell since the game came out. They do change some of them. But yeah, you're right. I know there's a lot of people who think cheese shouldn't exist in this game. I'm not one of them necessarily. But I do think that like... Certain cheese will... Uh, will get removed. Very nice ring. Wow, five perfects. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Where are the rest of these players, man? Oh, wait, did you open the store? I didn't open the store. I did. Okay. Do you want to go west? See if there's any players towards a uh, boat? Um, yeah. Do you have, um... Did I leave ring? No, it's right here. Dude, there was definitely plays in this lobby. There was that wizard, remember? Yeah, he's somewhere. I heard you. Uh, okay, there's uh, aggroed skeletons, like spawn skeletons towards me. the uh, southeast. Me, me, me. On you? No, it was uh, it was me. I don't think so. Not on the southeast yeah, module. It was, yeah, it was me. I opened door to check. Okay. And he spawned. Sure. I see open door uh, on the left west boat. West road? Okay, I'm coming. It's outwards, so they gone north. Towards Maybe boat? They, no, Maybe they're towards, towards uh, static. North. Maybe they took boat. Maybe yeah. they didn't. It's yeah, possible. I see them. I see them. Okay, cool. This is two rogues. Rogue, yeah. Two rogue. rogues, yeah. Yeah, two rogues. Fucking bitch. One plus left. Yep, I see him. By the barrel. Yeah. Dead. This fucking guy. Wait, he didn't go to static? He's not going to static? That is crazy. That is such a throw. <clears throat> He's going up? Yep, and around. I got stuck. He's going south now, what? Yeah, south towards boats. He literally just ran away from the static. Yeah, I see him, I see him. He can't go anywhere. Yeah, he's dead here. Yeah. Ball just spawned. Okay, we got plenty of time, we got another one. I don't really fancy taking this boat. I don't want... Uh, maybe I'll drag this guy out, actually. Rigo, a wolf pal. Oh, they killed someone. 
Wizard? No, wait, that's not that loot, that's not that. No, okay, they didn't kill anyone. You got a Berserker coming your way, just so you know. Oh, this guy was fucking mm -hmm. looted. A oh, good as well. No, this guy wasn't. And he just ran right past the static like it didn't exist. <clears throat> Bro, if I, I, I bet his Discord call was like really toxic after that. No, I think he's just a ping pong. That's him. What? He's a ping pong. What is a ping pong? Um, what? A Chinese guy. That is, you can't say that. That is so racist, dude. That That is actually racist. <laughs> I'm saying it all the time. You didn't hear it? I've never heard you say that. If, I, if, I heard, if I've heard I'm you say that, I would have said something. That That is genuinely <laughs> racist. I'm telling this like a few hundred times a day. Like there's a... Chinese guy running, so I'm telling I'm, you know what I'm saying. Uh, whether or not you've said it to me before is irrelevant. Just please don't use that language. You have eyes from zombies? Uh, yeah, I have them, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry guys, that was obviously very not cool. Why is he proud of it? I find that a lot of Europeans, like native Europeans, that aren't like English first language, don't really understand the implications of racist terms like that. And so, it's like a very... It's a tough, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to like explain to them why it's racist and how it's racist because it's just like their culture hasn't like got to that point yet where they're criticizing people for it. So yeah, boat spawning. We need to go. Is it here? Yep. Okay, I see. As soon as the blizzard starts, it spawns. <clears throat> Step to the back. Go to the back. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Wolf. It's something that I've noted before, and like, it's not to excuse racism or anything, but at least from a, maybe a, a Western culture perspective, you can understand how that like exists in their culture. The amount of like Eastern European people who I've heard, you, and even like, as like, not even that far East, like who use terms like the N word. Because, you know, they hear people, rappers say it. They don't realize, like, why that is racist. Because they weren't involved in slave trade, you know. Do you have a spider silk ready? Uh, I don't... Well, I don't know. Do we need one? Oh, uh, maybe next week. Next week, you reckon? Uh, I don't I don't typically save items until they're confirmed as quest items. Yeah, I got some wolf belt saved. The wolf pelts, I am saving them because it's yeah, guaranteed got, going to be one. I got spider silk, so I don't have to like s kill only one spider and then pray for spider silk to drop. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and got some royal um, diamonds and sapphires and whatever.
yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to excuse his behavior for what it's worth, guys. But I do think it's worth being understanding to how this happens. You know what I mean? Helps with the, the dialogue around it and the education around it. Like if that person, if, if, if it was my, uh, it was a, a like a, an American friend or a, a British friend, I would expect way better from them, you know? Anyway, I'm sorry that happened guys. I'll have a word with him after the stream about it. He's usually pretty receptive to this kind of stuff, so I suspect he will learn from it. Um, all right, I might just put some stuff on the marketplace real quick because my inventory is filling up with sellables that I need to get rid of, so. Mm. Uh... Unless you want, like, I got uh, from the Rogue a Strength um, Dark Leather Leggings with plus two all. Is that something you would ever be interested in for the armor rating no. and magic resist? No? No, no. Fair enough. Um, cool. All right, let me just chuck some stuff on the market then. Okay. 150. Oh, that's two. I'm not trying to sell anything for crazy expensive. I just don't have the spaces ever to do that. Did you see some of the stuff that um 21 was selling for crazy expensive? No. He sold a uh, a ring that was plus one all. So it was a quickness ring. So mm. three IG. Um, plus one all. Uh, magic resistance and PDR. How much do you think that would sell for? 10k because of the PDR and one all. Yeah, it sold sold, sold for uh, 8k. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it, dude. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, a barbarian wants PDR and magic resist, and so they're willing yeah. to pay for it. Yeah. You know what? I sold for 6k. What did you sell for 6k? Heavy leather leggings to all. Heavy leather and leggings to yes. all, yeah. Yes, 10 armor rating and 15 magic resist for 6k. Yeah, and how long did it sit on the market for? One second. One second? Yes, I should go for like 10k. That is... what? Yeah, and padded tuning, 20 armor rating, 10 magic resist to all purple for 6k, and it was sitting overnight. And... Tattered Cloak, Epic, 1% movement speed, 8 armor rating, 9 magic resist for 4,000, and it was setting two, uh, 2 days. That's crazy, dude. Finding, um. Finding, uh. What do you call it? Um. Yes. Gear like that is uh that that i like, can sell that quick is uh is unreal and sold you know it. what everything that i sold was on one guy what you like one person the one character or like to one yeah. person you think no on one character i killed the bard and he had everything yeah okay i still have from him i still have a uh, wrap here that is 4k mm -hmm. and two two rings with Dex ring, one all, three max health and armor rating. And another ring, one all, nine magic resist, two physical power. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna sell for like, I don't know, 5k maybe. Yeah. And the monkey pendant, two all, max health, 3% PDR. Oh, absolutely. Some of the people who are buying this stuff are RMTing. That's like 100%. <clears throat> yep. Alright, I'm ready. 
Europeans weren't involved in the slave trade. Not He's all European not, countries were involved in the slave like, trade. Obviously, from, like, one guy, Britain no, more. 100% was. Sorry, that's that was a very generalistic term. Not every European country was involved in it, is what I'm trying to say. Warlock, Shadow Touch, Blow of Corruption, Phantom Ice, Chris Dagger. I usually don't play with people or talk to people who are racist or misogynistic and think it's okay. I feel sick around them after I know how they think. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I, I don't believe that uh, Red is a racist person, but clearly what he said was racist. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's a difference between that. I could be wrong. Like, I don't know him that well, but like, I think there's a difference between someone saying something that's racist and someone actually being racist. Yeah, this crease hurts, dude. It's like 70 damage. Without, uh... Without Bloodstay Blade. Oh, you were holding them for me? Thanks, Red. Anyway. I want to move on from this, guys. We don't need to dwell on it any longer. Appreciate you guys being part of the conversation. Ah, oh, why did I waste a block pick like that? Oh. Well. Ooh, what a haunt school. I bet, I bet if these had plus all on them, this would sell to a barbarian for a lot of money. These leather leggings. I've seen a lot of barbarians running, uh, running will leather leggings for the, um, magic resist. It's kind of crazy. Meta. Did you kill these? Yeah. I hear someone uh, killing something to the east. Bat on you. I'll get it. in here see the skeleton spawned or not it, oh no it spawned no man. I need my quest items I swear cobalt map the frost map doesn't have good quest spawns for skeletons i've never seen them drop broken or sorry i've seen them drop uh, teeth thing. so if they can drop teeth they should be able to drop other stuff right and they drop bone as well but i've never seen rusty broken sorry yeah there's a player on pile it's a wizard and ranger Revival boring. I'm killing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I made a trap, dude. I'm dead. Yeah. Fuck, that was really dumb of me. I wasn't even thinking.
There's another trap, I think. Nice hits. There's a cleric, second team. Yeah. It's unlucky. <clears throat> I can cook them 1v2, but I can't. With another team behind me. I saw you oh, I'm gonna stop this fucking so be... Habit? Yeah, I had like jumped it out of habit, but I still stepped in it, so I guess it was not where I thought it would be. From a muscle memory perspective. Um... <sighs> no, just about that shot. This is... Are you serious right now? The other team's still alive. Yeah. They just looted my body instead of... Yeah. Yeah, you have literally nothing. <sighs> if I can get just a spell book so you can be like a fucking meat with spells. Yeah, I mean... Or uh, there was a long sword on one of the things we killed. I don't know if it was a skeleton, I think. I'm not a spell caster. I'm a physical damage dealer. Yeah, I know. But like, we have some spells, right? I think go back towards Pyramid. Oh, he yeah, jumped, he jumped the jump on yeah. them. Yeah. I was tracking them 1v2 and of course another team have to push. Mm -hmm. It sucks. <laughs> that was such a bad death by me. Like I really just... I, I, like, I jumped the, the corpse and everything, but I, I guess I just missed or, like, wasn't really, like, thinking too much when I jumped, like, where I needed to jump. Oh, well. Sorry, t sorry, Red. Um. I'm gonna switch builds. For the sake of, uh, rebuilding quickly. Hmm? I'm gonna go back to Torture Master rebuild. Um. Hellfire, do I? Do you want me to have Hellfire, or do you think it's useless? It would be. I would have Bolt instead if I didn't take it. Oh, you can have Bolt. It's better. Sure. <clears throat> Wow, these have gone up in price, haven't they? Why 16 potions? 18 potions on a magical healing warlock. Because you can drink a potion whilst 
fighting and it mitigates a lot of your magical healing losses. Gives you a massive advantage to spam curses and spam uh, stuff. Should give it a go sometime. I have so much magical healing, so my potions are way more effective than standard potions. You shouldn't bring green potions for fights on a magical healing warlock. That is actually really bad for a magical healing warlock. They tick too quickly. You want them to be ticking slowly. I want to watch me jumping onto uh, the trap. I swear I jumped over it. Or at least attempted to. It was just instinctual though. It wasn't like purposeful. I literally see it there. I jump over it. Oh, I, I back into it. That's my issue. I backed into it trying to avoid the, the fireball. Okay. No. I didn't jump into it. I saw it there. Okay. When the ranger cooked, yeah, the triple shot, I just panicked. It was just a panic moment. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready when you are. Just let me know. I'll uh, start cooking up a new kit whilst I wait. I got some pretty good rugged boots that I'm not going to use if you want. I don't really run them. What are, what, what are they? And six Vigor, three Knowledge, and MDR. Nah, I don't think I'll run them. You back on the kit you're running earlier? Yeah, my magical healing one.
Let's go. Double check. Penimize. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Okay. my bowl yeah this this is the guy who stole my uh, shit from you red I think mm. why did he not put on like half the kit the kit was so much better than his my damage is so bad though mine's good Yeah, that's the same warlock. Shadow mm -hmm. touch here, dark flare. Yeah, that's a, literally the same warlock. This warlock here looks like it could be an elite enjoyer. <clears throat> Here's a lot of gear, dude. 140 health, 316. Plus souls on everything. Magic resistance high. Physical damage high. Physical damage, yeah. I wonder why he's got the staff for. Maybe he goes in for a bonk. He's got blood pack. That's gonna be fun. Oh wait, I don't have <laughs> spell predation. Never mind. I wanted to see my gear so bad. <laughs> uh, it takes him out of uh, demon form and takes his uh, stacks away. Well, his stacks are already gone. Appreciate that skeleton still being alive after all that.
Someone killed this axe man. Okay. Maybe us. I don't know. Us? Yeah, I hear people in the Okay. <laughs> Behind the other door. East and then south. Yep. The warlock. Ranger warlock. Ranger. Ranger with windless. I might hit him. I'm not happy yet. I'm dead here. I need to run. Shut the door. I'm gonna go across to the other door here. Oh, why are all these cobots here? Hello? Hit him once. I'm just healing. Uh -oh. off my trap. I'm not with you at all, dude. No, he's doing a uh, demon. And then. Yeah, I'm dead. One sec. I'll kill them. No stacks for demon farm. Ranger should be low. He's super fast. So am I. Dead. Nice. Nice. I'm just trying to surge. Yeah, we're just geek along. She's bandaging. Yep. How am I missing these? Where's your body? In the middle. Yeah, to your left. Yeah, just somewhere here in the middle, maybe to your right. Oh, that's me, yeah. Cook and sell. Yeah, but it costs them to revive you. Pretty yeah. easily. Okay. He's here. What? How yeah, did he have an shot. angle for that, dude? I just didn't see that there was a possibility that he has an angle around that corner. Well played to him. I just honestly did not think there was an angle.
How is my cursor not doing any damage to him? He has 4% magic resistance. I have so much true damage. My curse did no oh, damage. Yeah. 114. It's not even doing like 30. I don't understand that at all. I mean, we'll play to him, genuinely. But that feels wrong. That feels very wrong. I have true damage. It's doing 31. Yeah, maybe that's right then. That angle was not right on my screen. On his screen, it's just about. That's crazy. Probably. I did half his health with one curse. Nah, not really. I did 31 damage is what I did, which my curses are doing 32, so I guess that's right. We'll play to him. I need a pee. Same. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alrighty, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Um. That uh, ranger was so brave. He um, I have to see what happened here because I don't understand how he managed this. Uh, So my main mistake, I should have kept chasing him here. He was on the ropes. I wasn't. That was a big mistake or whatever. Here. How did he get to push in? Oh, red backed off. Okay. That explains everything.
Ranger Warlock. Ranger, Ranger with Flamblitz. I might hit him. He told me he was healing up, uh, like, too late, unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, I'm struggling with curses right now, and it's completely my own fault. The reason I'm struggling is that... Uh, your there's two parts to your spell casting animations, right? There's the uh part of your spell casting animation that um relates to your knowledge. So that's the first part, half of your spell, your casting animation. GG Sape. Um, and then there's the second half of your spell casting animation, which relates to your um how fast the set like the the cast second half of the animation is is, and the the curse is dictated by the second half. Like when you finish charging up your cast, you then like shoot it out right, and that part is uh dictated by your your uh dexterity your action speed so, and because of the plus or meta i have way more action speed than i'm used to and i'm not my muscle memory is completely off of my curses and i'm struggling to uh fix it so my curse accuracy is giga bad right now so I know why it is, and I'm no. I know what I need to do to fix it, but it's it's hard, <laughs> hard to fix. Y'all have space for another one? Uh, probably not. I think I'm just gonna stick to duos. Fuck you mean by that, Dowsy? Uh, so duos is like a queue where there's uh two people in it, and if we added you to the group, <laughs> there would be three people. Tomato. <laughs> Tomato, tell him you want to go trios. I did whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks. We can play some duos later if you want, Nande. I'm not sure I'm in the mood for trios at the moment. The thing is that I hate the duos. Like, I'd rather play solo than play duos. And I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather play duos and trios over solos. That's where my head's at. Wow, these have gone up in price. Huh. Alright, good luck, boys. Thank you. Bro, when I bought this, there was like 1500. Where the fuck is... Is it at? It's now like 2k. <laughs> fuck me. We need rotation. Ah, uh, I guess duo's scripts would be fun, yeah. Two, two, any? Two, two. Holy shit, dude.
3,000 for the cheapest one right now. <laughs> Shit me, man. That's like twice as the price of when I bought it. That's crazy. Uh, move speed. Add. Bro, my health is trash. Ugh. Two hundred. Nine four hundred. Nine thirty. Casting okay, speed 16. It's not good. I need it to be a bit higher. Hmm. I think I can get it higher. Unlucky.
This is a crazy purchase. I don't know why I went for it, if I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> okay, current build is current build is a five magic power, three magical healing spell book with True Magic Damage Vigor Shadow Mask, uh, Vigor Magical Healing, True Magic Damage Hair Pendant, All Ats, One Knowledge, Three Max Health Occultist Robe, Knowledge Mystic Gloves, True Magic Damage Agi Ring on both, uh, One All Ats, Five Move Speed Loose Trousers, Five Move Speed Occultist Robe, and a Two True Magic Damage Radiant Cloak. Currently 311 Move Speed with Book Out and 32 on the curse. That's the Warlock Garen. But if it gives people. <clears throat> Cheers, Hakumi. I need to stop dying, dude. I'm playing really uh, recklessly right now. Well, maybe I'm not playing recklessly, but I'm dying, and that's not good. Yeah, knowledge is way less this time around. So my casting speed is way lower, nineteen percent. South, uh, east, sorry. Yeah. Actually, it could just be a cobalt. Never mind.
We had a uh, icicle fall, but cobalt's gonna do that, so it's not necessary. I'm gonna pick my head out there, see what I see. There's a creep robe with weak point and he's geared. Yep. Someone's yep. opening here. Box. Down here, under. He's in with someone. Catch up, dead. Then. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe a creep. They throw with him somewhere. Someone took a dagger out, I think. A what out? Uh, dagger. Dagger. Yeah, maybe uh, on Shrine of Sacrifice. Yeah. Pretty naked. Hmm. Was oh, that looted? Yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. We go towards pile. This skelly is dead. Yep. Okay. Maybe on top. Yeah, I don't think they're on top. If that bat's coming down. Um, I don't want to go on top anyway. Can I show kit and stats after this game? If you just rewind the VOD, like, just a little bit, you can see the stats. I just did it in the three-game lobby of this game. Hydra is shooting someone on stairs. Who is Hydra? Behind us, yeah. Maybe a skeleton, like, yeah, a skeleton. It was weird. Yeah, it was a YouTube chat. Uh, you were watching, asking. Three other show magical nash. Just like gunslets are okay. Why do they stutter like that, dude? Completed looted. Yeah, piles already looting. Maybe go back to the way they came. Yeah. Uh, there's someone east. 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 I heard him 
I heard cobalt attack on something. I heard it somewhere, for sure. Uh, Maybe like it? under us, west under us. No idea. Yep, cobalt came up. No, no man. That just. Oh. Thank you. Oh, maybe in caves here? Oh, there you have a big guy on you. You pulled big guy. He's coming. Okay. This one? They're at boat. They are on boat? They've, over, yeah, they've gone north from boat. Okay. They're, uh, Give me a sec, I have a east in the Wendigo room. Yeah. I have to drop down this berserker right yeah, here. Yeah, come to me, come to me. I will hide room. Oh, Just come to me, bud. He's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck. Okay, yeah, but there's shit tons of mobs coming, and you should just listen to me, because, like, I say shit for reasons. So. We need to go north. They're in the north module or they've gone to elevator, one of the two. Dead body here. There's a revive just around the corner, down there. Art is still in here. Hit him. Has this been used? No, this has not been used. No. Art is still in this guy. Oh, right. Is it the... Is it the... No, this is not him. <clears throat> Man, so hard to hit this. Do they continue going east? There's... Oh, right here. In the viz right in front of me. Yeah, that's the geared guy, I think. He's far, far right. At the door, I break it. Yeah. There's, it's a warlock here. It's on our team. Pushing, I pushing think. away, pushing away. Is it the same team? No. Not that I know of. He's low. He should be dead here. Rogue's on me. I'm gonna left side. Yep, rogue split. He's trying to break uh, yep. ice. I hit him once. Hit him Shoot. again. Hit him again. Yep. This guy Rogue. is uh, south. South, yep. Fall, fall, yeah. Pile. I'm super fast. Maybe I can catch him. Mm, yeah, he probably went He's west. here on me. West, west. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. He's running to static. He's gonna get there. I can't stop him. I can. Just give me space. Oh, I need to fucking venomize. I'm out of this fight. Completely. Hit him. I'm, d I'm out of this fight. It's all you. No. Yeah. Hit him again. He cursed me again. Hit him again. He's phantomized. I'm super low. 
Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I can't help you. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm running away, I'm running away. He, he's also really far. Can you close the door behind me? I'm not near oh, you. Oh, it's, it's closed. Okay, he's super low as well. I don't have a search. Go to the rogue. The rogue will have one. Yeah. This rogue was super good. Yeah, he'll search. He's coming. Mm -hmm. Time walk. I'm, I'm going the other way. I'm going the other way. Wait, he's, he's pushing in. It's, him. Yeah. it's perfect. That's so I'm, going, I'm going the other way. Going the other way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have a two big guys on him. That's fine. Oh, I'm going west room, right door. I'm gonna be behind him. Yep. He's in there now. Shining door on yeah. me. He's going south. Please shut the door behind me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go in and shut the door. There's another warlock here. Well, big guy broke the door. From far away. He's a good dodger. Yeah, I keep... Oh, man. The other warlock took static. I'm putting Hydra down. Oh, wait, never mind. They can't come. I don't know where he went. He's in this module, or he went west there. This static is taken. He probably took it. Okay, let's go. Secure our extracts. Did you loot uh, Rogue fully? I uh, yeah, I took his gear. Yeah. Just jump across so we can shut the door. Uh, it's, there's no door. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And just close this door, I'm gonna close the other. Oh, there's another dead rogue here. Check elevator. Okay. And if not, go pyramid. Oh, you're going to the other static? Yep. I can just take the pyramid one. Check elevator still. I don't know if this okay. one's up. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's all good to go pyramid. Okay. Doesn't seem like blood magic works on Phenomites. What do you mean? Curses? What do you think about curses? I think you're uh, overestimating how little damage curses tick for. They're uh, only ticking no for way. two. Two damage. What's up? We're up here sold for 3.2k. Oh, crazy.
Wow, these are so cheap. What? I feel like selling it for the upper end prices here won't make sense because it's not like busy. I'll go for like 400 or something. 350. These are so annoying. This is like a really good pendant, but selling it for a good amount of money is like ridiculously hard. It's going to take too long. Come on. Digimon Digital Monsters. <laughs> Why roughing tonight? No, not tonight. Ref tomorrow. And then off for the week after that because it's Claire's birthday on Thursday. Well, actually, I don't know how long I'll be off for, but yeah. Might not be off for that long, honestly. Do you know that show? I, I do know Digimon, yeah. I never watched it much as a kid. I was more a Pokemon kid. But I am familiar with it, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. 
What perks do you run beside Vamp and Torture? Uh, Dark Reflection and Anti-Magic. Right now. It's uh, currently my go-to. So I'm just thinking about food. I was I went down to make some food and realized we were out of wraps, so that was kind of a, a bummer. With 40 HP, Warlock, 315 move speed, Demon Farm. Wow, that's exp uh, scary. And that's really geared one. Really. And also geared. another another geared rogue without creep. Without creep. <clears throat> Why do you say without creep? Creep. Yeah, without or with. Without. No creep, zero. So, is that more scary than if he had creep? No, that's not scary because I can hear him. Okay. <clears throat> I like the long sword. Long sword's my favorite. If I'm gonna do like, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of chill. Oh, uh, you know what it is? I reckon the skeletons that have the uh, teeth and shit are the red ones that you can find in the side modules, not the other ones. down here. I have cheese spawn. Wait, oh, why is he on me? What? Uh, what the fuck? Okay, enjoy. Is east. No, no, mind, it's just cobalt. Just a cobalt. <sighs> GG, sorry. Good escape. There's people in the middle already. Okay. I'm clearing this side. I'm coming. No door now. Oh. So we're straight across is the ranger. Time. Yeah. Um. We can hug this if you want to. He's trying to run away. No, he's trying to shoot me with windless. Yeah, the one 
Let's go, bro. You have a big guy on you. What? Alright, I'm taking him away. I'm gonna take him again. I'm gonna kill him here. Okay. Should be on me. Let me jump. Game. I'm gonna jump up here. Can I not? Okay, you can't. Uh, apparently, you can't. So, Warlock Ranger. Yeah, well, It might be the same Warlock Ranger that we fought a while ago. Maybe. You have a demon farm, pretty same build. Yep, it is, I think. Yeah, he's transforming, transforming. Yeah, go back, go back, go back. Hit him three times. Yeah, he's low. Back over the flames. He missed his orb. I hit him again, dead, dead, yep, dead, dead. dead, dead. Oh my god, he two shot me. Something. Dude, he's so fucking crazy. Oh, what a headshot. You win? Yup. Oh, well played, dude. I, I did the best headshot I ever done. Well played, dude. Uh, yeah, this is the same guy. Yeah, same guy. I know them as well. All right, heal up and res. Don't loot. Heal uh, up yeah. and res. Yep. Oh, I want. I want a search. Okay. Where's the closest res? Uh, fuck me. No, thank you. Behind the pyramid. There's easy one behind the pyramid, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna go pyramid then. Come on, come on, come on, search. Drop some meds. That's your pants, I guess. Yep. Hard, uh, hard the torches. No, 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 no. I think I got two shot, Kira. I think Sop just hit me in the head twice. Mm, for the comfort, your cold blood. It's his, his nickname is Sarp. Yeah, it's, J, it's, it's, it's JT Sarpe in the server. He's adding me yeah, right just, now. Uh, yeah, and, um, I just got to his jewelry. Oh, dude, sometimes there's one. Eh, yeah, don't worry. I, I can just go pyramid on. You thought he was dead? Interesting. Did you... Did you land any shots onto him before? Sorry? It's JT Sape, the guy who just killed... Uh, we fought. He thought you were mm -hmm. dead. And no. I'm trying to work out why. Because, like... I got I got hit to twice, maybe that's why. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, he, he shot, shot me, dead. so... Yeah. He hit me, like, half HP first hit. Sorry, I'm not dead. Unlucky. <laughs> it's not possible, I guess, to... I put a lot of under by doing this. Well played, Red. GG to whatever that guy was. JT Sape. <laughs> I don't know him. <clears throat> you probably want this world built. It's insane. Okay. And we have to go there fast. Okay. Your your things. Pots for medding and your cross pod. I need my arrows. Kill up fast and then we go. Oh, this ring is insane, actually. I'm already at the bodies, by the way. Yep, I'm coming. Non looted, I think. Uh, yep, everything is here. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, sir. Give me that wonder on tire. 
Run this bow. Damn. Yeah, two arrows. Crazy, just literally two shot. Yep. Rip headshots, well played. Well, actually, probably just one needs to be a headshot and then the other one can be wherever. Right, okay, I'm just gonna put this one both on me. How much magical healing on this kit? Uh, yeah, um, a decent amount. Yeah. Oh, wait, those boots are ass, actually. Damn. Like, uh, how much is it? Hmm? Nine. Nine. Healing. Alright, what do you want to do? You want to do pile now, or? Mm, I don't have space for to take anything. We can't just go for elevator or, or um... Boats spawn now, if we just get there, get there quickly. <clears throat> What's up? It's here? Yep. Yeah, so this boat spawns when the icicle hits the middle, and then the yeah, last yeah, one yeah. spawns when the blizzard starts. Yep. And then there's a middle one that's like one or two minutes in. I don't have an indicator for it. It's like half, like one one of fourth, I think. Pardon? One fourth of the time. There's it's one, like I it's think. so early. It's like literally yeah, like one minute, one minute, two minutes in. It's crazy. I thought you were dead. I took a hit for no reason. Well played. I didn't even catch your POV. Did you clip it? Mm, yeah, I got, I got caught. I was watching the death, death yeah, cam yeah. of me getting two shots. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he he had some damage and some uh, ar armor pen. Not yeah. Gonna lie. yeah, he was very strong. Where's the clip? Where's the clip? I didn't pull it out yet, but here. Mm. So we kill a big guy. Yep, it is, I think. Hey, yeah, transform, transform. Uh, no oh, bit laggy. Three three damage. Damage. Yeah, it is, but it's fine. Just uh, oh. play. So like, this was good. He walked over my flame walk. I cursed him. You hit him, and then he walked back over the flame walk. He was so low. He was probably like he probably would have died to my. Oh yeah, look, look, that's one hit. Back up. <laughs> one hit from him. Yeah, he hit me twice and you once. Yes. Jesus Christ, dude, that's crazy. Look. Wait, how did he think you were dead? I don't know. Maybe here because he shot. Oh, what a headshot! Well played, dude. Yep. Like I don't don't know why he would assume he one shot you. I don't know, like I was like, Plus, you got so the you, triple yeah, shot. I got no, I just got hit twice and you got hit with a yeah, third. Yeah, triple shot, I'm getting the third one. Yeah, and then you're hit, hit in the, and then in you the shoot him. I yeah. But you shoot him there, so like Yeah, I hit him there. I predicted the arrow and then I headshot him. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Strange that he thought you were dead because you gave him all the information that you weren't. <laughs> Yeah, but this hat's is insane. Oh, it is. It's crazy. Well played, dude. Honestly. Bonk. <laughs> Dead. Oh. All right. <laughs> I hit him as he hit me. Oh, so you probably didn't hear. Wait. You talking yeah. about the triple shot hit or the sh sh hit afterwards? Because he shoots after the th the second hit. 
and it's like delayed in the sense that like it's off off the beat off the tempo it, uh, it doesn't matter anyway it's like in the the midst of things you know, people do th make mistakes i'm not trying to criticize you at all actually i don't, I don't know why i don't i don't know why i'm talking <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Corrupted, how are you? I'm chilling. not too bad, thank you. Where's my barred video, Josh? I'm gonna pass to you now. Uh, I haven't made it yet. <laughs> I haven't, haven't even played barred this wipe yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, you can help me with a little one then. I'm trying to learn the Cyclops. Uh huh. What do you do when the prick runs at you? Which one? When he does the, uh, yeah, so you can jump over both the first two swings and then you just crouch the third one. Okay, so jump, you jump, crouch. Yeah, oh, you yeah. don't even have to look down, you just hit him. You literally can, as he's, as he's, um, jumping at you, like swinging yeah. at you, you can literally be swinging your rapier at him, like. Yeah. Oh, so I'm doing this on a warlock first, so I'm basically just oh, trying okay. to well, yeah, sure. on warlock. Okay. Warlock, uh, is a bit tricky, because, uh, yeah, back, the damage check is a bit hard, but. Yeah, especially if you don't have gear, like it's okay. possible, but you might. I would anticipate dying a lot on base gear. Yeah, I, th I think what it is is when I'm far, like, because obviously I can do troll like pretty consistently now. So mm -hmm. it's a case of the obviously because of the map rotation, Cyclops is so much more like coming up like frequently now. Yeah. So I'm just trying oh, to learn that. Just just okay. my door. Of course, right. Oh. Alright, just had food arrive. Nice. Give me like five minutes or like even less. I just have to talk with my mom for a little, a little no worries. bit. That's fine. I need to eat anyway. Yeah, be back. The Wendigo, you want to hit the heart. Yeah, the heart is like a weak point. It's like the head. It's like headshotting something. If you hit his heart, it does really big damage on the Wendigo. Whereas the headshot on the Wendigo, he has armor on his head, so he actually takes reduced damage. It's like backwards logic. Alright, I thought I'd try the, um, the Subway series version of the chicken teriyaki sub that I like. I mean, it's not good. There's no way I get this again unless I can change the ingredients on it.
This is so messy. Getting it toasted uh, makes the sauce melt or something. I don't like it. It's like taking what I like about this sub and made it worse. Um, <clears throat> so I get a lot of my subs. If I get a sub, I'll get it toasted. But there's one sub that I really like with chicken teriyaki, which I don't get toasted. And I don't get cheese on it either. Because I just think chicken teriyaki doesn't need cheese. And when you toast it, it changes the, the flavor of the meat. And it tastes so much nicer when it's cold meat versus hot meat. And so, but they removed the, that sub. Like from the uh, build your own sub menu, so now uh, you can only get it on the series, and the series version of it's trash. I would happily have the sub toasted if they would just toast the bread and not the the meat. I think it would taste really nice if the bread was toasted and the meat wasn't. People who get every salad option, yeah, you pick and choose. They wanted the sauce to be piping hot, I guess. Definitely makes sense. I wouldn't want it necessarily, but it makes sense. Like, I can understand the logic. That's all well and good, but he chose mayo. Okay, never mind. My bad. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Hello. Hola. What is your opinion on hot mayo? Warm mayo? Whatever. What do you mean, whatever? Whatever, I can eat it. I don't have to. It's good. Whatever. So, would you prefer your mayo to be cold or warm? Or hot? I prefer cold, but I, if something is warm and the mayo is going to be warm, I, I don't care. I usually don't eat mayo anyway. Like, maybe on, on soft boiled egg. What about a burger? <laughs> like a chicken burger? A burger, yeah, I can, or on um, a toast or something. All right, I need to wipe my mouth and my hands.
Okay. Well, that was disappointing. I thought it would be. As well, but... You know, I wanted to believe. I wanted to believe that it could be good. And it wasn't. <sighs> Red. Yes. How long have you been living in Germany? Uh, two years. Two years? And how old are you now? Mm -hmm. I'm 21. Okay. Did you move by yourself? Or did your no, whole family move? No, we're family. All of us are here. Gotcha. Why'd you move? <clears throat> but better economy, I guess. Yeah. Can you grow a beard, Red? You, you see, you saw me on, on camera. I have a beard. Oh yeah, that's right. I have. Yep. Yeah, he does have a beard. A beard and a mustache and long ass hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like, <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's a good bed. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just growing the beard so I can like, cut it in my own way. Yeah. It's long enough now so I can try. And do something with it. Oh my god, what is in my eye? Oh my god. I don't want to touch it. Alright, we got a, <coughs> a melee lock. With really good gear. And a... Uh, a wizard with really good gear. The wizard could be honestly like. He's got over spell overload. It honestly could be like a. Uh, like CNG blade or something. He's only 108 HP. Who? A wizard. Yeah, but he has spell just overload. That and he's dead. Yeah, okay. Just don't get close to the wall off. He has BOC. Yeah. Is Melo Warlock fast. viable? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's very fast. But he doesn't I'm have Phantomize. No Phantomize, though. So. I think I saw Phantomize. Pardon? I think I saw Phantomize. I saw him use this, uh, have a spell wall. I swear. Do I not? Uh, let me clip it. Oh. Maybe we looked at different warlocks. Did yours have a <clears throat> long sword? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Phantomize, Bok. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about then.
<clears throat> and my girl woke up. Say again? My girl woke up. Oh. Do you have a nap? I sleepy head. Wind goes up. Dude, look at that guy. Pumping his arrows. The legend. Are you hearing Wendigo? Yeah, he's dead. Whoa, that was quick. Let me eat in peace. Yeah, and after this, I'm gone, by the way. You're gone? Yeah, because I told her that if she woke up, I'm gonna spend time with her. Darn. <clears throat> People, southeast, crossbow, aiming at you. Yep, thank you. Fighter, they and have mobs, yeah. I'm a uh, wizard. They have big guy on him. Yep. I might hit him. Uh, I don't know. Big guy might go to me now. No, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. You can do a chest jump right here. Yeah, I know of it, but I don't know how to do it. All right. I'm on the left side of them. I'm, I'm behind you. them. That's a fighter. Big guy's gonna come through this door. Hit him a lot. Big guy's on us. Yeah. I'm hydrating him. Okay, whatever. I'm not, not the opening door yet, then. I'm gonna... Opening door. Just keep them out off of me. Go there. Coming in now. I hit him. Hit him as well. Oh no. Okay, not good. Him Fucking again. big guy, bro. Head wizard. Yep, wizard's yeah, fighter, head. Wizard's don't know one. What to do. Wizard's dead. Head fighter, he's running north. I'm resetting on big guy. Yeah. Uh, he's in perimeter right now. I'm chasing. Yep, you chase. That's fine. I want to keep this big guy off us if I can. He's going to the south door. He's going to be east of you right yep. now. Okay, going to him. Uh, big guy is doing a fucking breakdance. <clears throat> Another big guy on me. Yeah, that's okay. so bad. On him, on it's him. On that's him. so good. Oh fuck, I'm on, on me now. You. you have two, two on you. Okay, uh, fight his head. Fight his head. Fight his head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the shield guy is dead. Yep. Is that because hydrid? I did. Okay, good job, good job. There's still the uh, kitted wizard and the kitted, uh, what do you call it, to deal with? Warlock. Yep. Milk. Giant toy if you want. Request him, maybe.
Yeah, and they had some gear. So I brought silver powder in with him. That's strange. Yeah, they had gear. Fight, dude. Lots of pressure on that fight. Played it well. Oh, I need arrows. Does the fight have some? I have four. My four arrows. Where's the wizard? You probably have like two, yep. And uh, survival bow. Did they... He just searched a body while still casting a life drain? I don't think so. Have you grabbed your, your arrows out of the mobs as well? No, I got... I got 60, I'm good. You good? Okay. Yeah. That's oh, the last sorry. one. Let's try and find the other team. If those guys yeah, came no. from southeast, I suspect the other team's like north somewhere or west somewhere. Oh, yeah, we I'm spawned, we spawned right all now. the way north, so they're probably closer to the west. Like, I, I, th I would say south northwest wait, boats. Wait. Oh, that's a cobalt, okay. I think northwest boats, that's where we go to. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Is that you spawning skeletons? Yeah. All right. Maybe shut your door behind because otherwise they're going to chase us forever. There's no door. <laughs> oh, there's one here. In this isn't much, huh? Um. are here still so maybe it's north now maybe yeah we spawned like upmost north module didn't we and then we went pyramid i don't know i, don't know. I thought yeah we spawned now but like what the fuck are they This is not being cleared. Go south then. We'll go southeast module then. See if they're there. Yeah, they're on me. East. Oh, welcome. Oh, wait, no, that's static opening. Okay. Uh, 
pub, but there is stuff open here. This is not fair. Players I'm pushed just... into this module. Maybe they're on like north side. I see open doors. On uh, on elevator. Like we were there. Maybe they are here now. I guess. It's possible. I have no idea. I'm just gonna go check. North. Uh huh. Hey, Beckers, I'm alright. How are you? There's a kitted w wizard and a kitted warlock in this game we're trying to hunt down. Static opened. There's no mobs clear. Probably already left. Maybe they didn't want to mess with us. Maybe. No idea. And they just took the the first boat available to them. Elevators up. No. Yeah, let's just go elevator. Wait, there's a door open here. What? <clears throat> did we open this? Oh, we did. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah we we did. This. Yep. We came from here. Monkey, you want to kill Wendigo or you just want to go? I can't kill Wendigo. Wendigo will go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Because if he screams in the good direction, I can hit him four times in the heart. Yeah, that's three hits in the heart. Come on, attack me. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, hey buddy. Where'd you come from? I think that's exactly what happened. They took the first boat up. Sad. Fuck. I wanted to play with them. You wanted to play with them? Mm-hmm. Kill them. <laughs> that's psychotic. Yep. Alright, cheers for the games. I'm gonna go. Alright, mate. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Okay. One more mage. Let's go do that one mage. Hey. Got ourselves a new bag. Wondered where your gold went. Realized you bought a third stash tab. Yeah, I bought a third stash tab. I had to buy a new torture mastery kit after we lost that previous one. <clears throat> I bought a new. Uh, I bought two. I think. No, just one. Uh, melee lock kits. Why does this no longer take the slot? It's annoying. Alright, 
very good kit. <clears throat> We need BOC, we need Shadow Touch, we need Soul Character, Curse of Pain, Curse of Weakness, Spell Predation, uh, Eldritch Shield, and Bloodstained Blade. Okay. What are we doing here? Priest. The shield is like a last ditch effort against caster clerics. There's really zero reason to have flame walker on this build. You're not going to be kiting anyone. You're going to be running at them. <laughs> so. Here we go. So damage bonus. Why no magical healing stacking? This build requires zero magical healing. It's basically the new, the best new rogue build. Is how to look at this game. This build, the number one rogue build right now. <clears throat> I guess I just get this one. One, uh, one goblin mage, and I am done with the quest, thankfully. Seventy plus three, eighty four plus three, forty seven plus eighty four plus three. That's a lot. A lot of damage. This is a really sweet kit. We got it off of uh, Warlock and Trios. Really high magic resistance, like natural ma magic resistance. Which is really important when you're going up against Caster Clerics. You need as much magic resistance as possible. Pretty low decks. Probably where this build struggles is its decks. I think I would upgrade it by switching out. Hmm. Either the cloak or the gloves for more decks. What's the point of the shield? Rangers and bards. To push them. And wizards. You Captain America, this shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I said, I see you've seen that movie before. <laughs>
I'm actually really struggling with the minions for some reason. I was trying to not use a med and just like shadow touch it back. Oh god, there's a player there. It's a rogue, I should be fine. He was trying to go unnoticed completely, wasn't he? Maybe he wants to mine in this module. Seems strange. in the east module ranger I'm dead here, I think. Fuck me. Yeah, fuck me, dude. Honestly, I fucked that so hard. Very, very bad. Fuck. <sighs> I actually hate, uh... Playing against rangers. This build needs to be faster is what I'm learning. It doesn't work in solos unless it's really fast. And this was not fast. Why no range? I have range spells. Just not worth uh, using against a, a, a ranger in that situation. You'll lose the battle. When you're not building magic uh, thingy. I don't normally lose against rangers with this kit, but I normally build the kit myself. I just use what that guy had, and that kit doesn't work in solos. It needs to be faster. It works in duos probably because you have like split focus, but in solos when you the only thing that a ranger is looking at is you. I don't think there's anything you can do against that. You have to ha have it faster. Mm-mm-mm. That's okay. It was worth trying the build out, seeing uh, how it worked for us.
Okay. My ranger does do that. I got this annoying thing going on where I can't crouch a wolf forward at the same time anymore and dark and darker. Has anyone else experienced it? I've seen some people online, but didn't find a solution for it. It's got nothing to do with your uh, your hotkeys. No, Bloodstained Blade doesn't scale. Discount. It's a uh, big seven weapon damage. That's a lot of weapon damage, though. One goblin mage, please. There's actually one in this module, isn't there? Goblin Mage kill. 4k. That is a 4k kill right there. That's a big one. Easy 4k right there. Bard. He's going boss. Yep, spell predation moves by buffs. It's really good. Wait, what's it? There's a rogue as well. I reckon these guys are playing. Friendly with each other. Bro, you've hit it onto me three times now. I'm guessing the rogue is still down here. I don't know if there's a way for the rogue to get up without. I think you just open this door here. Oh my god, no one transfer onto me. He 
He's taking the elevator. I think he died. No, he didn't. Fuck. That's really bad. Well played, Tim. He almost killed me. It was very close. More damage than he would have killed me. I thought I heard someone opening the door behind me. as many pools as I can. Is that two dead or more? Two. The uh, bard and the rogue are dead. I didn't really pay too much attention to who was in this lobby. Does Hellfire cause any FPS drops for you? It can do, yeah. I think north module is going to be uh, safe for static, but I'm not sure. My third Ruby Royal this patch. It's very strange. I just keep getting it. Oh, Troll is arguably the easiest boss to kill out of the two. Uh, perceptual. So it's just about learning the spacing. Once you've got that down, you'll kill the troll every time. I hate this last two modules. Need to get a go, get going so I can uh, secure portals. 
With two people dead, I should be fine for portals. There should only be one other person who's taking a portal, but... Here we get uh, the last module on the um, pr like treasure room. No, we're not lucky, but that shouldn't be too hard to find. Wait, there's a portal open here. What? That's lucky. This is where last portal is going to spawn. Looks like someone took a portal there as well. Okay. Whoever opened this portal has taken another portal and gone out. Here it is, the uh, the big 4K mage kill. It's a big one. Wait, what's this? I have to survive three dungeons consecutively? That's cool. I like this quest. I mean, that will sell for anything. Just put it up for 130 so it's the cheapest. If it sells for that, I'll be happy. Why can't I find stitched? Oh, that's why, because I can't spell. You know what? Fair enough. Health, buff, and strength. I mean, they technically could be worn by like a bonk class, but they're so random and they're, no one's buying them anyway. I'm just going to spend them. All right, let's see if I can sell some of this stuff here. Nine. I don't really care about the other stats because I kind of figure that someone else who's searching for them probably doesn't care either. They're probably looking for uh, just the cheapest thing they can get. Additional movement speed on buckler boots. I like the idea of buckler boots. It's just lots, lots of health and resistances. Hundred. They should be worth more than that, but whatever. I can't be bothered to 
set it down for an extended period of time. Wow, that's so little. Crusade armor with health. Can't this only be worn by fighters? Oh no, clerics. Okay, so it actually makes sense then. It's a pretty good cloak. A uh, pretty good armor. Six health. Maybe I sell for like 250-ish. Hopefully it sells for like, I don't know. Let's just sell it for like 2, 2, 2 and hopefully it sells quickly. It doesn't clog up my, uh, my trade windows. Do you get another inventory slot from 10k gold or quest this swipe? I've got it from 10k gold. I brought two trolls bloods for me by mistake. I watched you kill Cyclops and went and did it myself for the first time and got a gold coin chest first pile hit. Wow, Crinkle, that's amazing. Congratulations. I'm uh, genuinely jealous of you and your luck to uh, get a gold coin chest. Play his footsteps, right? Yeah, I'm running magical healing and higher uh, life drain. The spiders are still alive. So, seemingly no one spawned over there. I'm trying to find the other. Four players in this lobby. Someone spawned here. How did the race to demigod go? Terribly, go boss. Me. I love that play.
Can't always be the best. I think I just like fucked myself over trying to stay awake for so long the days before. I think if I didn't do that, I would have been a bit better. Like a bit better off maybe. But like, yeah, I just kind of fucked myself. And it wasn't good. So, bit of regret there with that. Is what it is though. Fuck me, dude. I'm dead, I think. I'm in such a bad position for this fight. Ah, oh, he's fucking chasing me well. Maybe not, actually. Trying to run. He's gonna get that door. How much I can do to stop that? He's running into someone there. I'm gonna go back up and I can't stop him, I don't think. <laughs> this is stupid, dude. Alright, he's dead. I'm not. I'm not. There's centipedes up here. <laughs> Where did you guys come from?
Okay. Wow, great loot. I wish I had more time to loot that rogue body. Oh. GG. That was a crazy game. Very chaotic. Doesn't stop from the start. speed bonus min move speed bonus i'll do it for like 175 should sell eventually might take a little while though this is really good with two physical and max health as well riveted gloves uh additional physical damage Oh wow, this one's selling for 140. Like I just put it min price, not really thought about the stats. 240, and then do we have a three for seven eight five? Okay. Two eight five. Alright, maybe I just do mine for around two fifty. We'll sell. does the random one two three column mean so when you are searching for an item let's say you want to buy a shadow mask right shadow masks by default have three stats on them they have strength dexterity and agility and armor rating so those are the three static attributes agility armor rating dexterity and strength but they can roll random stuff right like spellcasting speed, vigor, spellcasting speed, physical damage bonus, additional memory capacity. So those are the random attributes. So let's say I wanted a Shadow Mask that had true magic damage on it. Now I can see how much true magic damage the that thing has. So this is going to be one with one, and this one is going to be one with two. Helps me find my wanted desired random statistic uh, attribute quicker <sighs> no problems oh man if that rogue was any more powerful i was dead to him he did a really good ambush onto me Yes, that would be a really good discount. If in the future they added the ability to search for multiple random attributes. That would be very, very nice. Yeah, the Cyclops rags were used to craft, I think, uh, a pair of pants. 
that had like health and agility on it or something like that. They were pretty strong. Well, they are pretty strong. They remain strong. Oh, your attack speed is so fast. He wanted the health shrine there. That was what he was going for. She got bad. Some good stuff. Some very good stuff. Some very good stuff. What's the point of this? Little pathway. There's a player down here. Very quick. I missed that last one. I should be winning this fight now. Really good gear as well.
Can't really bother to take any of the other stuff. I think the other stuff won't sell for very much. I don't even know if the champion arm will sell for that much, to be honest. Yeah, not on purpose, Jackie. I got one from a previous boss and I forgot to unequip it. Twice, I forgot to unequip it. That's uh, two players dead. One player dead over there and a player alive. It is a barbarian or a fighter. I'm sorry. Did, Did he go down into the top pit? No. He must have shut this door as well. Yeah, he did. Okay. He should be low. Can't imagine him living right now. He lived? Wow, he must have surge kitted. Nope. Okay. GG, that's everyone dead. Biggest regret of that fight was that I never uh, uh, protection potioned. That made it really risky for no reason. Okay, I'm going to take damage from the bat. Warlock, okay, good to see. I think he greeted a little bit trying to come back for this guy's gear. I mean, I can see why he came back for it, but it was greedy. Like, I totally appreciate the reasoning, you know what I mean? Like, but he needed to survive, not... That this gear was gonna... It was useless to him if he was dead, which he was going to be if he came back. Without search kidding. He played really well. Considering his gear deference to my, me, he played this extremely well. He should be proud of the fight, even though he didn't win. He was outgeared massively, and he almost got me. He had a fucking grey longsword of all. Yeah, crazy. Shows that uh, one good play can win you a fight. No, there's uh, pretty much every class can survive in the darkness. This is not like a battle royale. I know it looks a bit like one, but it's not. The circle just encourages you to move towards a central location. It's not a necessity. So. Okay. 
Okay. These should sell for a little bit. All right, we got 490. Padded leggings with strength on them. It's a mineral strength, so we're going to look for the first one that has like something like strength on it. Will is kind of like strength in the fact that it's damage, physical damage reduction, magic damage bonus. I don't think anyone's going to spend crazy money for one strength, so we should look at selling these for maybe like 300. And the Regal Gambleson, I don't expect to sell for that much, but we'll give it a go. One ninety. Okay. Fortunately, that won't sell for much because it's just plus one all. That will sell for a little bit because it's magical healing. Okay. That's what has true physical on it. Actually, I should just do the true physical as the main stat. That's kind of dumb of me. I'm not going to worry about selling it for more because it has magical healing on it. Because I just don't see many people wanting magical healing with um, with a strength ring. This is good. Really good pendant to sell. This ring is just base... This ring I can probably just throw in the bin, honestly. How do I pronounce terrain? Out of curiosity. Terrain. God, I really want to grab Advanced Healer from Cleric into Warlock for Multiclass. It'd be nice. So you can fully... Uh, no. Yeah. If I wanted to be faster, I would need to find uh, Lightfoots with three healing, three knowledge on them and... Uh... Yeah, three knowledge on them and five movement speed, and that would up my movement speed by like 12, which would be nice. W Squire reminded you to put away the troll's blood. Yeah. Thanks, Squire. You big boy. You six. You big sexy beast. So my um, Dark Reflection should do be doing about 42 damage, which is very good. I'm also have my Spellbook out. 
a lot of like damage it can often like turn a fight in my favor when someone gets on top of me in a bad position for me especially if i've done like any damage to them beforehand any damage to them beforehand yeah that's all right by the way guys if you're new to the stream uh i'd appreciate it if you consider checking a follow we play warlock daily monday to friday during these hours I'm one of the uh, the I'm the uh, the night shift streamer almost for a lot of people. Uh, in dark and darker, just purely from uh, the fact that I live in England. <laughs> hey, look at this! Not a bad pendant. This guy's pretty kitted. He's probably very fast. Three eighteen. Yep, three eighteen. Two nine eight with two weapons out. Okay, that's good. He's uh, decided to double dagger, which I don't think's a good idea. It's really hurt his potential. Yes. Oh, I didn't see what his skills were. Oops. Dalcy is a 10 out of 10. Learn Warlock from him and have main Warlock 2 wipes now. Thanks, Perceptual. I'd like to upload some more content on Warlock. I just need to find time to sit down and edit it. There's so much I want to like explore with YouTube. Oh, this is not where I'm meant to be. It's okay. I haven't spawned in this spawn for ages. Let's go to do Cyclops. We haven't done a, a boss for a while. Nice balance game, bro. <laughs> Someone's mad. I want to flame walker this pile up here. What do people expect? Nice balance game. Yeah, the guy was just mad. He's just mad. He was wanting to run and do Cyclops for like free. And he got interrupted by someone who was higher gear than him in a situation where he got caught out, I guess. doing the wrong thing.
when people are frustrated they just say stuff you know what i mean like i say stuff all the time when i'm frustrated i think we've all said stuff when we're frustrated but like if we were to sit down and inspect it further we'd realize it was like not really just frustration i think we often focus too hard on what people say in frustration Uh, so you don't do the Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice double heal worse than Curse of Pain Life Drain. Uh, it's just about having, um... It's just about having, uh... Burst heal. I want Burst heal. I'm having a half time with Castle Warlock and Solos. I'm running into Slayer Fighters, Clerics, Wizards, Barbarians. How am I supposed to play these matchups? Um, Flamewalker is your best way to deal with fighters and barbarians. Magic potions, uh, uh, magic like protection potions, are your best way to deal with um, wizards and clerics. Clerics have a perk called Protection from Evil which will half your Curse of Pain length on them, meaning that you will get less magical healing from them and do less damage overall to them as well. So, because of that, um, you have to be very uh, careful about how, uh, how you approach a, a Cleric because you're not going to have much magical healing from them. So, hot potions and... Play safe. Potions, protection potions, health potions, that kind of stuff against them. So that you can uh, sustain against them. Barbarian is all about just kiting with flame walker. If they get close to you or they hit you, you uh, you need to flame, you need to hide, uh, sorry, I keep saying the wrong word. You need to uh, phantomize away. And then, um, wizards, honestly, you, you should, it's just a skill matchup. Hey, call me flame. Hey, dude, we literally just spent a little like ages defending you, and you came in and just doubled down. So I guess uh, you really do believe the game is unbalanced. Um, your class is is not like a, a W keyer, right? And so you you engage that fight by W keying towards me, but obviously you weren't trying to come towards me. You were trying to go to the the, the cyclops, right? Um, so to like say the game is unbalanced in that situation it's kind of like missing the fact that you played that situation completely wrong and not taking any personal responsibility so if you're like genuinely trying to get better then like we can talk but let's not pretend like you uh didn't fuck up that situation by beelining towards me you had like plenty of time to see me you could have turned the other way and, and found an ambush or or whatnot you're also naked in this situation compared to me who's not. So yeah, you are 100% going to die in that situation. You don't have as much gear and you're playing a glass cannon. None of that's un unbalanced or unfair. That's actually just how balance works. I don't know how experienced you are with the game. But by the way you're speaking, you're you're coming off major inexperience. And Rogue is just it's it's the squishiest class in the game. Like You have to play a little bit smarter than that if you want to survive. Pick your engagements a bit better. You're an assassin. By nature. So you gotta, you know, gotta f play like one, rather than like be landing in. Uh, 
Uh, do I think that the Perseverance perk from Cleric would have reduced the health cost from Warlock's per spells? Mm, that's an interesting thought. I hadn't really thought about that. I think it's probably outgoing damage. Outgo like incoming damage, not outgoing damage. So I would consider Warlock's uh, curses as outgoing damage, like you're doing it to yourself, rather than it being incoming damage, someone's doing it to you. So I, was, I would assume not, but like, this is kind of the crazy thing about uh, about multi-classing is we're going to learn a lot <laughs> about the game, aren't we? When multi-classing comes out and how the things are coded. This is a really good filling axe, but it is a blue, so we'll see. 49. I think 49 is a low roll. No, 49 is a high roll. It's not worth that much by the looks of it. One night, 200 but like max maybe. Yeah, 200 max. Let's go with like, I don't know, 175. Let's go with 188 and then hopefully someone buys it for the lucky number. Lovely, we did the uh, survive Goblin Caves consecutively quest in one go. And what did we get for it? We got some gloves in a wind locket. Okay. This is a pretty good talk, but... I don't really care to sell it for too much because they don't sell very quickly. Frost with two. Three nine eight. And then a Phoenix with one. One three five. I know I could probably get a little bit more money out of these things, but as you can see, I've got ten things listed right now. I'd rather just sell them quick and get it back into, you know, selling more stuff. That's how I make a lot of my money in this game is just uh, selling stuff really low price so that it sells quickly. And that way I can sell more stuff later. Get back into game, sell more stuff, you know. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy multicasting. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bit tricky. How fast is this guy? He's very fast. This is a very, very fast rogue. Holy, that's scary. I would love you be chasing a wizard down and then he just turns around and peps, pops rage. Yeah, that'd be nuts, eh? Hey? Is the extra splash base worth it? I always feel like it is, but, you know, it's definitely uh, subjective. I just like having that kind of space, you know, not feeling like I'm too crowded. This is Cyclops map. There might be a player through here. Warlock. Let's see if he runs. I think he will. Damn it. I would be surprised if this guy hasn't run. Okay, he hasn't run. That's kind of surprising. I'll wait for his Hydra to turn. Oh, he's smart. He just got destroyed by his own Hydra, though. Oh, I did not mean to jump. That's really bad for me.
I don't have bolts. I wish I did. I could uh, reset this fight. It looks like he's playing life drain. This might be a, a, a troll's blood moment, honestly. He's dead. That hurts him a lot more than if he just tanked it. I don't know if he did that on purpose, gave the kill to the goblin. So that I wouldn't get AP from it. Or have you just made a mistake? Probably just made a mistake, right? <laughs> GG, Murphy. Oh, not you. Okay. He played that really well. He started off the fight in a really advantageous position. He could have won it from there. He just uh, wasn't able to follow up afterwards. He should be pretty happy with the start of the fight. If he was to learn anything from that fight, it was it would be to try and push the uh, advantage onto me. When uh, he started the fight, because he was he was really up on the start of the fight, but he uh, pulled about pulled out when I jumped, probably even before then. But when I jumped, he had bolts and he should have been trying to land them and keep pressure on me. aggro the uh He aggroed it anyway. That's so annoying. I now have to life drain to get my health back. Uh, rocks bugged out there, not sure what happened. He's gonna do eyeballs soon. Yeah, it's annoying having to run at Hydra like that. Uh, 
Sorry, I've missed the question. Chelsea plays a lot, and I don't see him getting more than three slash four rolls at it. If levels take exponentially longer. Sorry, what's that in reference to? I've missed the conversation, my bad. Oh, you're talking about like uh, subclassing, multi-classing? Right. Levels, etc. Do we know how often you get a point for? I've wasted a lot of my time this wipe on other characters. I've got three characters to level 20. Warlocks, that is. And this one's to level 30 something. So. A lot of my experience has gone on to other Warlocks already. 35, 40, 50, 80, 60. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. So it's a bit of a large circle with lots of uh, a very long pathway to get to the different ends of it. How did the race end? I actually don't know who won, but because it was midnight for me, so past midnight for me, so I didn't watch the end. Oh, never mind. That is great. Thank you very much. I will have that. Thank you so much, uh, Solo, for the follow. Welcome, my name. Should be able to do this last pull and then go circle. I've killed a warlock and... There's one player left. It's a bit scary. That's fine. I'm not going to try too hard to min-max. I need to get to last circle. This is a really dangerous last circle for me. Alright, we're very fortunate as I think that... Actually, I have no idea. Is that a portal there? It is amazing. Ow. Don't hit me, bug. What did I just say? Yeah, it's such a dangerous last circle. The portal spawn underneath on this circle, so it could be really scary. Let's see how this guy does with it. He should be fine. His portal should spawn in that corner there. But it, it is a small window where that, that one actually spawns under, and when it does, it's so frustrating. But his should spawn, like, in the corner. He should be fine. Yeah, perfect. What is, in your opinion, the best way to learn how to kill Tron, Cyclops, and Warlock? So, <laughs> I just <laughs> choked on my words. And Warlock. Uh, with Kree's Dagger, Shadow Touch, or with Magic Healing, uh, Hellfire. Uh, honestly, both are super viable. And so, I would just say, watch one, learn the way that you want to play. Like, if you enjoy the, uh, if you enjoy the, uh, um, What's the word? If you enjoy magical healing, then play, learn it magical healing. If you enjoy your crease dagger, then learn it crease dagger. Like the benefit of learning crease dagger is if you can do crease dagger on warlock, you can do it on every class. That's like a really good skill set to learn because uh, melee will uh, cape troll and melee um, melee cape troll and melee. Cyclops are essentially the the same thing. Uh, sorry, the same on every class. Once you've learned how to do it once, so I do it in normals or high roller. Uh, it's up to you, dude. It depends on if you want to risk gear sets learning. 
and you can answer that question really. The high roller variants are different to the low roller variants, so you'll have to learn extra mechanics once you do switch over. Do I really think Locke is the best class right now? It's got to be with how expensive Locke gear is, right? <laughs> Otherwise, it's one big conspiracy. Have you seen how expensive an occultist robe is? Only, only warlocks can wear the occultist robe. Yeah, it's one of the most expensive chests in the game. Why is that? Must be because there's a lot of warlocks who will buy it. Has to be the most played. And if it's the most played, then why is it the most played? Maybe because it's the best. Cheeky little barb. With 14% magic resistance. Okay. Gee, little barb indeed. This guy's going to be doing uh, cave troll or cyclops for sure. We'll go say hello to him. Shadow touch, that's interesting. That's a fourth perk. Is that another cheeky little barb? That one's got no chest. That is a robust barb. Robust. Ah! You fast? You're kind of fast. You're about the same moving speed as me. And then you slow down. Oh, I missed. And that's a... That's not a bob. <laughs> that's a fighter. I'm so glad you're playing solo again and doing boss. That's my favorite content. Thanks. I do enjoy it. Speaking of. Hey, that's rude. Are there any plans for multiclassing for Warlock? Yep. Yeah. I think uh, getting Wizard and Cleric leveled up would be really good for it. So that half a second too early. Oh, I forgot to pop on your lock potion. Whoopsie. Do you think that 10 spell lock build could become viable with multi classing? Uh, only if you're like taking spells from other classes. It's so hard to make 10 spell warlock work because Phantomize or BOC is just so much better. Ooh, that's really good. Ranger Hood. He's cast 
He's just literally gonna kill himself costing. Why did I get stuck then? Oh well. Was that mean? Just like dodging his stuff? Arguably, he came at me first, right? <laughs> what plus agi healing is this set? Magic healing? Nine. I think uh, it was at that point the guy knew he was dead and just wanted to land a single curse. Yeah. I don't think any of us can... Uh, Blame him for wanting to try and get some health back at all. But with Torture Mastery, that's minus six health every time you miss one of those. So it's pretty, uh, pretty rough. Do I have a Discord? I do, yeah. Although it's a little bit dead. Maybe we can work on fixing that. This is a pretty good gloves. Like, everything on these gloves are good. I think, ideally, though, I would want knowledge and agi on them to make them more valuable. Dude, I got 69 luck. <laughs> nice. I wish I could find more people to trio with without having to go on the official Discord. I hear you. this here and try and sell it. Even though it's handled. And then this here. I think this would sell. I can't see it not selling. Luck and move speed on a knowledge ring is pretty handy. guy is who's talking to me. There's a dead body here, so I'm not thinking he's friendly. Was this barbarian? A fighter even? very nice server for dark and darker who can give you an invite if you want yeah that's that's fair enough if you want to invite someone new in and they want to come in 
just uh get confirmations and the discord a uh, uh, whisper is there a filter on youtube streams for some reason your game seems so much brighter uh it's literally just you go into your game settings and you change your brightness in uh video to make sure you got screen brightness three a lot of people don't do this it's just default to two Why the crease dowsy if you're not using the healing poke for melee? Uh, it's just, it's good. I want the shield, and so I might as well have the crease with it. Uh, so it doesn't reduce my movement speed too much. Was this too vigor and armor pen? It's really solid, but I feel like it might not sell. I feel like uh, Rangers probably go for something else, honestly. So, looking if armor pen sells for anything more. Not really. I think Rangers like building armor pen, even though it's very strong on them. Two, three, three. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go like 200. Oh, wait, these are just plus ones on there. Ones with three. Oh, they're not that useful then. I might just market these. So they're not sitting in my inventory forever. I'm also curious about that. Why not the falchion? Oh, it's just uh, the crease is faster. Attack speed. Falchion feels slow and heavy. It's just a feeling thing. If I didn't want the shield, I'd be running a longsword. Instead. I like the longsword. Mine was at 2.2. .2. What a difference. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? This guy's super fast. And he's gonna hurt. He has cut for it as well, but he's very low on uh, health. So that's where that's our in. Is that his health is very low and his magic resistance is very low. He's a two cursor basically. Hit him twice with curses and he dies. 60 damage plus uh, the tick damage, maybe three curses to be sure. If he hits me with a dark reflection, yeah, maybe one curse and a dark reflection could kill him. Or definitely two curses and a dark reflection for sure. For sure. Two, two, like a dark reflection is 40 damage. A curse is 30 plus the tick damage. So we're looking at 70 damage off the rip there. He definitely would go down pretty quickly after that. There's a bard in this game, they probably want to want to do boss. There he is. Yeah, that's bad. I need to just run and hope that I can get past all the fucking goblins upstairs. He's actually gonna catch me whilst I'm in Phenomize. I'm actually dead here, I think. Yeah, I'm dead. GG. Well played.
All right, guys, I'm going to call it there. It's a good way to end the stream rather than rebuild a kit. We'll, uh, we'll just call it. Um, thank you so much for watching today. It's been a pleasure streaming. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. We made some great progress on our quest today. We got our third stash unlocked as well. So yeah, huge. Take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye.